Iche, are you sure you are not the one behind everything that's been going on? Me? What are you saying? <laughs> oh. What? It, it hurts to, to be accused, right? That is when your hands are clean. Mm -hmm. Of course. If your hands are clean and you have been accused, it will hurt. Really? Because clear conscience, they say, fears no accusation. Ah, no uh -huh. But let me tell you something. It is so very obvious that both of you, there is something that you are hiding from us with your know who, and we are asking you, what are you hiding? What are you hiding? Mom! Mom, what are you doing here? Cindy, just one thing that I asked you to do. Keep her in her room, but you couldn't! Don't go from your sister like that. I insisted to be here. I had gunshots. I was worried. Mom, you shouldn't be worried. Everything is under control. Please. Sophia, I may have been deranged with the recent happenings in the palace now, but I'm not stupid. All of you, start talking now. Mom, don't you think you've had enough already? I mean, you should be resting. I demanded for an answer. You Not imagine. some stupid concern. What is going on? My queen, the gunshot you had is just an alert to a message. A message? Only who will deliver to us in a package with a caption, murderer on him. And he was battered and bruised by whom I suspected to be the same perpetrator trying to send this kingdom in wrongs. Mm -hmm. And there's any possibility that she's the one who has stolen the curse of the late king. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 What? The cops. Sophia. Claire. What is happening here? Um, Where is this place? The people who saved you yesterday can still save you tomorrow. Do you agree? Yes, yes, I agree. But that does not answer my question. Where are we? This is the temple of the new dawn. The priest of this temple made it possible for you to be set free from prison. Soon, you shall come face to face with him and then your journey into the blissful face of life will begin. But I thought you said this is not a secret cult. Your words and the aura that greeted our entry points to the fact that this is a weird place. A woman who is looking for her missing items such as both where she kept them and where she never kept them. Some things we need in life are hidden beyond the human eyes. It is secret, but will be made open today. Mammy, 
Kings do not die. They join the ancestors. Today is a special day in our kingdom. Today is the day the remains of our powerful king will be led to rest. And as we lift the remains of Ezomenuka and place on this ancestral stool, we are confirming that Ezomenuka, the incense and also of Kome of that our kingdom has finally joined our ancestors. No. We are going to leave this casket and place on this ancestral stool three times and then we can proceed to the grave.
I should be there collecting net levies, eh? From those women, and not the other way around. Listen, woman, I don't know what you're doing, whether you're preparing to go, but you're not going anywhere. I want you to take your cloth inside and forget everything about the barrier. Don't go anywhere. But now you know what today means in this kingdom. And also, you know that I'm the secretary of Omada. Hey, hey, not only secretary of Omada, secretary of the town union. Must you always argue? No, can't you do what the husband is asking you to do? No, I'm sorry about that. But you've not given me enough reason and answer to, to, to uh, not to go out. Hey, enough reason, right? No problem. You know what? You want to go for the burial? Go ahead. And if they kill you outside that place, I will bury you very close to my father. And within two weeks, I will marry a new wife. No, no, no. Come on, go! Don't stop looking up! Wait! Wait, you're going to go for the burial. What is happening? Nay! Nay, don't tell me what is happening! Hi, she. No, but she's not better. But Dr. Stanley said she will be fine. She passed out of shock and exhaustion, but Cindy's with her. She is not supposed to go through this. She lost her husband, and now this. Who would have had the heart to stand this? So, what happens now? We're not Does that mean we're not going to pretend this never happened? Sophia, today is that funeral. We can't have some hooligans ruin it for us. We can just have some security. We and... did. Didn't we? They still bypassed them and came to this place. We're not talking about that now. Mother is our major priority and other things will follow. Claire, she's right. We can't go ahead with the funeral. You saw how people ran from here. Do you think that we agreed to come back and start off from where they left off? Huh? And I guess we'll have the funeral service people take that remains to the mortuary. We can regroup and reschedule. the sound of big color. Big color gong is pity. But why? Why? It has been long. It's last sounded. I was beginning to think my ears are deceiving me. But now I can see it's equally indeed. 
Why are too many things happening in this kingdom all at once? Why is the Ikolo sounding? What is going on? Have an explanation to that. That was the sound of the Ikoro. Something is wrong. That sound doesn't come often. Something big must have happened. What could be bigger than what just happened, or no? The corpse of my father, the king, has just been kidnapped by people who are yet to call and make their demands. Never in the history of this kingdom or any other kingdom I know of has any such thing happened. How can kidnappers kidnap a corpse? Not just any corpse, but that of a king. I don't know, man. please! Don't you dare give me that to Fiakwa bullshit! I will not let this light. I won't take it. Hey! Don't you try to do anything stupid. Allow the Lord to take care of it. The makers of the Lord did not search anything like this. Where the cops of a king is being kidnapped. There's no law for this. I agree with you, no. But for this, there should be a legal way around it. Where are you going? Out. To where? Uh, out of the palace. Claire, we talked. You promise you're not going to take any actions whatsoever. Only suggested. I think we can promise. Claire! Our father's funeral was ruined today, Sophia. And I see that is not enough. His corpse got kidnapped. Now, what does that tell you? That all this is for jokes? And that whoever did it, did it for the fun of it? No, Sophia. I am not going to sit here and wait for your government to give me justice. You and I know how pretty well this country is damned. Claire, I wouldn't let you go out there and have yourself killed. I wouldn't let you face the gunman. What does it matter? Being dead and being laughed at, which is worst. Claire, we are going to get him. I wouldn't let you do this. Do not get your hands sawed. Don't! I'm going to get justice for my dad, even if I die doing so. Claire, nobody is going to die. I wouldn't let you do this. At least think about more. Exactly why I am doing what I am doing, sis. I love you. Closer. 
And Cindy, ah. okay, fine. I need you to go to the bed. I'll be here with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come, mm -hmm. fine. Watch me. There's nobody here. I, I will stay with you. No, just where? That is not here. What that is there? Stop. There's nobody here. Claire. Claire! Claire, I told you not to tamper with the evidence seen on the crime scene. Crime scene? It is my father's compound. Claire, there was a shootout? Claire, you tampered with the evidence? It's just to bless. Enough to get you arrested. What is wrong with you? Okay. What did Bugatti say? How did you know I was meeting him? Mm. You think he wouldn't call? He was so surprised to get your call and then he will lead you in. Claire, come on, I know you too well. You cannot fight this blind battle. You can't! Fine. Who is she? We have to wait and find out. I mean, he has to look into the suppliers and buyers of the weapon to see if he could match anything to what I have of the people. It means very soon she will be exposed. Nerved and persecuted. Killed! That is what she deserves. I do not have the patience to wait on the protocols of the law. Claire, whatever. What is this? Some of the elders are here to see you. Man. Tell them I'll be with them shortly. Okay, ma'am. Go up, get some rest. I know you won't be stupid enough to let any man have your rest. See the trash that is coming out of the mouth this morning. <sighs> Tea! <sighs> oh! So deep and strong, but the flesh is so weak. Something happened here yesterday. Something that scared not only us, but all the people that gathered. I was thinking we are here this morning to start a discussion on how to understand what happened here yesterday. I mean, why are we not doing that? You had to know it was some hooligans. Should we then make them relevant by sitting here discussing them? Is your point, Yon? We are talking about hooligans who were stupid enough to bust into a palace shoot into the air and scare everybody all the elders seated here will agree with me that there is no smoke without fire there must be a reason that instigated what happened here yesterday and i am thinking that men in council should be asking good thoughts on that when one is embarking on a journey and he hits his leg on a stone it is only required that the person should pause and ponder why must my leg be hit against the stone? I want others and cancer to be asking why. Ichel Idoko is right. Very, very right. Ichel Idoko, I understand what you are saying. We are discussing the way forward for our kingdom, community, and uh, with all due respect to no, I don't agree. We're not discussing anything. Mm -hmm. From what I see here, we're just wasting our time. As if, as if it appears that there is there is there is a plan not to discuss this. And I, I, I don't think we have to subscribe to that. We should discuss this. Mm -hmm. Let us not equally forget that the equal sounded yesterday. Mm -hmm. The equal does not sound for nothing. Mm -hmm. I am thinking that many in council. 
to live up the expectation and to find out why did the Dikolo sound? We can't uh, ignore what happened yesterday. Especially the sound of the Ikolo. It has been long we had the sound of Ikolo in Dankwa Kingdom. Eh? So for it to sound in the midst of what was happening in the palace, it means something is definitely wrong. Something is wrong. Yes. <clears throat> My fathers, men in council, thank you for honoring my invitation, regardless of what happened yesterday. I understand your concerns over what happened, but we shouldn't delay in putting my father to rest. My father died months ago and it took us months to arrange his funeral which was wrecked yesterday my elders let us put him to rest he deserves it i am pleading with you let us do the work please um <clears throat> my daughter you have spoken very well Hmm? But we must call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. Okay? We can't just throw caution to the wind just because we already know what you turn out to. No. Something happened that needed an answer. Um with due respect to know Nichi Bim. I suggest. I repeat. I suggest we go and see Awalaka so that he give us answers to what we seek. Ishe Edreka, I agree with you completely. We cannot ignore the tradition of our land and be doing something else. We must follow the tradition. And therefore, I, I am saying that uh, uh, what you just suggested is what you should be doing. Eh? In that case, we should head off to see Abalaka. Uh -huh. We don't have much time again. Ichi Doko, and Okwanyonu, you should please go to Abalaka. The princess and I have somewhere we need to be. There's no problem. Whatever thing that is for the good of this kingdom, it's okay with me. Ichi Doko, I go go the Bumbaga. I don't know how can I calm down in this kind of situation? When they are making things difficult and they are already? It's, it's a formality. Really? How long do you think we can hide this from my mother? People were here when the council was kidnapped. You think the elders have no head? They have already and they are trying to creep on my family, kill my mother and then take this children to somewhere else. Oh no, this is the plan and I know it. It's alright, please. It's Elu is killing me. Can we sit down? Just sit down. Don't overwork yourself. Please sit down, sit down. Oh no, what is that? Dikolo. Dikolo. I don't think it was ordinary. How do you mean? It sounded at this time the corpse left the palace. One, it entails something wrong and dangerous. Secondly, the gods may have a hand in this. <laughs> Excuse me. The gods did what? The gods took the corpse of a supposed man that is to be buried and finally joined them in their great beyond? How is, how true is your logical claim? 
It's just a thought, my princess. Because I really find it odd that all of that had to happen same day. It speaks volume. Hmm. Hmm. It's like you are trying to tell me something. What is it? You and I must find out before Ichie Idoko and Okwa Nyono figure it out first. Wait. Are you trying to tell me we are going to see that fetish man? The fetish man you cannot do without. The fetish man who is the ear and the eye of Aja and the gods of our ancestors. Keep your opinion about him aside now. And realize we need it now. Unless you have a better option. Um, no, no, I, I don't have any option. I don't. Princess, let's go now. Let's go now. I know why I selected the men. I know them. They, they may not even go today. I know them. Let's go now. Okay. Yes. Why are you here? We are here to see your father. It is unlike him not to bother showing up in the palace. Even after hearing all that happened. Well, I know it's not like he could, even if he wanted to. How do you mean? Come with me. Isuna, no. what happened to him? Oh no, I have no idea. I have no idea. The doctor said he's paralyzed. And since then he has not talked. Neither has he eaten anything. Hey! Gods of our ancestors, what is really happening in this land? What? Oh no, this is completely hopeless. Look at him, we came to seek for help. I think he's the one that needs our help. Let's just go, please. You want to talk? Oh? You want to talk? Your father wants to talk. Yes, he wants to talk. Now, nah, welcome here. Serious call. Huh? How do you mean? The guns are very angry. And you know. Severus Paul. You are right. Onya in Bekutel. Go to a more. Come more, Jesus, Chuba. Princess. Let us go. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. What did he say to you? Eh? Because he has not shown any changes since this thing started. What did he say? Ask him when he wakes. Oh? Let's go. Important. It got no name. Claire, you must tell me what you were up to else. Else what? You want to restrain me? What am I? A child who has no say? Claire, so you know, I have my ways of getting your boss out of jail the same way I have my ways getting you sit in jail. So you know. Okay, fine. Bugatti found her. Really? Yes. 
and don't ask how possible it was in just a short while. He has his ways of finding things out. I guess that's where you were after. Sophia, that girl gets crashed at father's funeral. She should know that her actions has repercussions. So am I going with you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine. I don't need a babysitter. Hey, sis, come on. Ah, listen, I just want to go with you, so I make sure you, you don't run your mouth and uh, get yourself into trouble. I'm hey, with my car. You come with me. No. We are men, not only men, but the chiefs of Dankwa Kingdom. How will you think that you can play around with our intelligence? Do you think you can get away from this? Do you think? What are you talking about? How do you mean? How do you mean? How about you telling us what Abalaka told you? Abalaka. Yes. You two should fill us in on anything Abalaka had to say, not the other way around. That is if we had gotten to him before you and the princess went to him. <laughs> you said you were going to somewhere very important with the princess. Is that going to Abalaka? To extract what the problem is and keep it to yourself? Why would I do that? Why should I hide anything from you if he said anything to me? He was struggling to do that, but he could not utter any coherent word. Listen, oh no, who? We met the son of Abalaka and he confirmed to us that his father spoke with you. That boy must have a mental case. Because the almost lifeless man could not utter a word. No, not ah. That's a he said you know everything. He also said that you know the truth. If I know anything about what you're talking about, I will share with you. After all, I've been helplessly trying to get answers to this problem. This year, all of us are in this together. We would have believed that. Had it been you didn't start with a lie, why would you lie to us that you had an important place to go with the princess? Only for you to go to the same Abalaka to extract what the problem is and now you are keeping it to yourself. Oh no, we are going to get that truth. We are going to extract that truth. Anyhow, let me tell you something. No matter how strong a man may think he is, he can never be stronger than all. That's what I want you to understand. I'm <laughs> I want to see her. And you are? Someone whom she owes a debt. Too long for a name. How would you mean by that? That you will not let us in? Guys, listen. I do not have time for this. Go in there, tell your madam that people are here to see her. People who look civilized should be able to introduce themselves as a civilized people. Mm -hmm. oh, are you sick or something? Do you have a clue? Stop, stop. That's fine. Shut up. The difference between sleep and death. 
it's very thin that is why mortals go into death from sleep and people will still think that they are sleeping as a woman who seeks vengeance you have to watch out for that smile that has the indices of death The people whom I wanted to see. You know, I was going to ask how you got to know my house. But knowing you, I am not that surprised. I mean, you always have one of your boyfriends help you do your dirty jobs, right? Well, it's not like you were hiding, so it was pretty easy to find you. And why is there to hide? Sandra does have things in the open. So, what do I owe this ungodly visit? Sandra, why did? Where is my father's body? Your father's cops? Sandra, you don't seem surprised. It shows what she's saying is true. So? And what makes you think I would tell you even if I did? <laughs> you really have something against my family. My father? Why would you choose of all days? The day he's supposed to be late to, to, to rest, to disrupt everything. Sandra, why? You know, I think your late father would be in a better position to share that information with you. Yes. You disrupted the burial. And then you came back and took the remains away. I mean, what would a woman be doing with the corpse of a king? Why are both of you speaking without respect? Even if you do not respect her, can't you respect me? Do you know who is seated right in front of you? <laughs> Stop rallying on me. And tell me where the hell is my father's corpse? Put the gun down, Sophia. Put the gun down, Sophia. Put, put it away! I dare you to pull the trigger. I dare you to pull the trigger. I am not playing with you, lady. Where the hell is my father's body? What did my father do to you? What did he do to you? You know what? You both have exhausted your time here. I want you out of my property right now. I don't mind shooting you at the back and nobody will know where your bodies are. I have lost my patience. I want you out of my property right now! I said no! Well, yes, confirmed. We are good for a clean suit. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Getting the police involved? I feel that's better than taking laws into your hand. What were you thinking? So you had a gun all this while? Come on, Claire, have you lost it? Yes, I have. And that girl is to be blamed for it. Taking laws into your hand is not it. Not at all. You are not. 
I wasn't going to do that. Listen, contacting Bugatti and retrieving the evidence seen on that event scene doesn't look good on your book, does it? Sophia, did you see that girl? Does she look like a normal human being to you? So yes, she doesn't deserve another chance. And the law is going to give her that at just few thousands. Claire, you promised to be good. You made a promise to me, remember? It's time for you to live up to it. As long as I get to have my take on her for what she has done to our family. Let's go. Does this this serve? I served you what you deserve. Drink it. The blood of a saint. No, please no! I don't know. She kept crying and shouting that she's seen dad. Mom, mom, but I thought what? Mom, what is going on? Sophia, it is true. I'm telling you. I, I saw him. Instead of giving me a cup of juice, he gave me a cup of blood. How can he be so cruel? How? Blood? I, I don't understand. What is... What's wrong with our queen? Is she going insane or something? If I were you, I would just shut up. What do you know? Why the hell am I just getting to know about this now? I'm telling you we have solved it. How? Sophia, she is my mother. And I have every right to know about her nervous breakdowns. And she has the right to know about whatever that is going on in this kingdom. Will you shut, shut up? up? My knowing might do nothing. But being prepared about this kind of thing actually helps to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Maybe shoot her when she cannot even put herself together. Oh, you two should stop. Stop fighting. Fighting is not going to solve anything. It's not going to solve the issue we have now. And mom needs something. I came as soon as I heard. What are you doing here? And who invited you? I did. Cindy, what? It's like you both are not going to stop fighting. So I call the only person who actually cares, not just because she's their queen, but woman. Well, I know who she is. She is fine. She's been attended to by the doctor. She's just worn out by the whole situation. Please, I want to know what exactly happened. My good friend, Anu. Oh, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Anu, oh, my good friend. What are you doing here? You are dead. The living and the dead do not have anything in common. Really? We have things in common. You're my good friend. And good friends do things in common. We used to. You are dead now. You are gone. So whose fault is it that I'm dead? Whose fault is it that I'm no longer part of the living? It was no one's fault. 
you had a chronic illness such that couldn't have been cured even if we tried hmm. such that couldn't have been cured I'm not sure I have a question is it that the illness couldn't have been cured or that you made it incurable I don't know what you are talking about. Please leave me alone. Just go. I will go. I will leave. But this is just the beginning. Please. I say go now. Leave me alone. Allow me to have my peace. Go! What kind of nightmare is this? What? What is happening? He is dead. Why is he terrorizing us? Why? Listen, just do what you are supposed to do. That's all that. Have a nice day. Claire, can you imagine? Mm, I can't. And I am not surprised. Sophia. I told you that was a dumb move for you to involve these idiots. Bugatti and I would have handled this whole thing perfectly. I don't even go there. I would not let you go that track. I would not. So tell me, where has your stupid, fabulous, mighty, and ridiculous idea gotten us to? I don't know how useless and stupid you think it is. Well, hey, you would not do anything. Absolutely nothing. The last time I checked, you are not my mother. Claire, the last time I checked, I made you a promise. And I'm so willing to go through it. She want to see? So, you did? Why didn't you tell me? Oh no, oh yes. It would have been a surprise for you and other elders what my sister and I would have accomplished before. Probably bring back the cows before anyone found out. Except it backfired. Yes, except that. There's something about that girl. I mean, she reminds me of someone in this kingdom that you know. Really? Who? Yes. But I am not too sure. I think I've met her a couple of times. <laughs> Maybe it's Abdul Ganga. So we are back to square one. Mm -hmm. With this girl and her whole gang crew on loose, we are in for a trouble. Oh no, you know, I am trying so hard not to get tainted in this fight. I like being real. If you really want to win this battle, being or not being tinted should be the least of your worries. Except you've already accepted defeat. Oh no, I am a warrior. I do not accept defeat. I don't think I've forgotten in a hurry that you are a true daughter of your father and you descended from the lions of warriors. Now listen and listen attentively. The fool parading himself as do you know who just left the palace. I want you to carry out the instructions already given. No room for mistakes. I repeat, no mistakes. Any mistake is tantamount to death.
Where am I? What do you want from me? One question at a time, old man. I will dodge you in a little and answer a few. Where are you? You're in a place far from home. Somewhere really far from your kingdom. And what I want? Justice. Justice for what? What are you talking about? Who are you? Do not get me upset, old man. For what you and I know clearly well who I am. I don't know anything about you. Yes, I used to know somebody who looked like you, but she died long ago. In Kiro, that was her name. The ever fresh young widow. You couldn't have forgotten her in the hurry, right? Well, I'm the spirit image of her. And I believe you couldn't have forgotten me considering the part you played in her death. So I was right. It was you. It's been you. But you were... Uh... Dead? I wish I was too. But you see, the universe seemed to disagree between both of us. Someone has to make you and your evil king pay for all their sins. Don't you think so? <laughs> sins? What sins? How can the devil punish the innocent? You are a murderer. You killed your mother in cold blood. Shut up! Why? I said shut up! The truth hurts, doesn't it? You couldn't even say anything that day. The guilt was so great that you were... You. What has gotten over you, Sandra? Do you want to kill him before we get a chance at having him talk? He has talked enough. I did not bring him here for him to talk. I want him to feel the pain. I want him to feel the same pain my mother felt when she was murdered in cold blood. And he will. But if he dies on first torture, does it really pay off? Does it? And you did not tell me you came here with a gun. I'm sorry about that, but how could he? How could he say I killed my own mother? How could he? I know. I understand those things can be so messed up. Alright? But do not let whatever he's saying to you get at you. He knows he's getting to you and it's giving him satisfaction. You know what? Henceforth, let me handle everything. No, Lizzie, I can't. No, you can't. At least not right now. Let me deal with him. You know I'm very good with these things, right? Fine. But I want to hear him scream. I want to hear him scream from far away. I want him to... Sandra. You may forget all things, but do not forget the fact that I am your guide and guidance on this mission. Do not let emotions in and make a regrettable mistake. She shot me. 
Nobody has ever shot at me before. Did it get you off seeing her like that? What are you? Another psycho bitch? Psycho? I like the word. But no, she is not the psycho bitch. You are! You and your king ripped her apart and took away the only thing that made her calm. How messed up do you think that can be? I see. She has told you a little of who and what she did. Trust me. You go down with her if you continue. I know. I would rather brought in hell than be who you and your king were. Let me tell you one thing about me you do not know. I am very deeply rooted in torture. And trust me, you would wish six years ago never happened by the time I am done with you. Please, I know. Oh, oh, Please. Hi. What did I do? I only did what a reasonable friend and the second in command could have done. You could have stood up to her and helped fight injustice. What else does she want? She gets crushed his burial and took him away. No, she didn't. Clearly, your late king had more enemies than friends. Who could not forgive him, even in death? And so am I. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Ah. Ah, please, 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 I'm begging you! Ah. Please, ah. it's okay now. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go, please. Me. I don't know anything. I do not know anything. I have no idea. He didn't. He didn't too. He did. He didn't. He didn't kill her. Kill her. Believe in me. He was not the one that killed her. Please. I didn't ask you who did. I'm telling you the truth. He didn't do it. He was surprised. So surprised and shocked at what happened. He couldn't have he couldn't have done it because he wouldn't want to hurt if man. He loved her so dearly that I thought he was losing his mind. Believe you me. He didn't do it. Yes. Please. Please. This is just the beginning. I am going to rip all your hearts out and feed them to the dogs. I am going to make you wish for death, yet death will be miles away from you. I am here for you and I am not going back until I have exerted my revenge on you all. We need to talk. Is he dead? You seriously need to listen to what he has to say. 
No, Lizzie. He lies. He lies about everything. You shouldn't believe anything he says. I don't. You know them better than I do. You need to hear what he has to say. You need to hear it from him. This is not like Ono. He's, he's not taking my calls, nor returning it. What is going on? Please. Please. Please free me from here. I did nothing wrong. Shut up! You lying old fool without a conscience. You surely think you can lie? I will leave you in the hands of men that will extract the truth. Bam! Bam! Very good. Please. Unleash the very zenith of torture on this old fool who had the guts to lie to me. Hey. You may die before we return tomorrow. If that happens, cursed be your blood. Hey. Hey. How do you want it? Hey. Mm, fast. Ah, 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 I, please. Ah, ah, you still don't want to talk? Huh? You want to die here? Yes. We are going to kill you and nothing will happen. I said, Speak up! Oh, Sandy. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. You need to calm down. Please, calm down. Pull yourself together. We will think about this together, okay? How could they? All these years, all these years I thought, how could they? How could they do something like this and still have the nerves to call themselves humans? Tell me, what kind of humans behave like this? Sandy, pull yourself together, damn it! Hold it together! You are a leech. Pull yourself together and let's get back inside. Okay? What is going on and why are you looking this way? Oh, what is going on, Sophia? I don't understand. What is going on where? Everything is going wrong. Since day before yesterday, we have not had a moment of peace in this house. His funeral is supposed to give us credible rights. It is supposed to ease up some of the pains we are going through, right? Oh, but what is going on? Cindy, Cindy, come on. Can you just put yourself together? Please. I just overheard the elders talking. They believe Father has some skeletons in his cupboard. And that's why things keep going wrong. Cindy, nothing is going on. 
everything will be oh oh sis do not patronize me without just look around we have turned from a money family that is being sympathized to the one that is remote about that something is wrong with who chooses their burial day to go missing apparently dad but it wasn't by choice Cindy yes something is going wrong whatever that has happened to father's curves has something to do with spiritual backing and we are doing everything to make sure that we fix it father will be laid to rest we will give him a befitting burial do not hate to any rumors flying about the palace okay that's my girl Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Now you know! Papa! Now you know! Is there any sign of him? going on. Oh no, has not been taking my call, not returning it since last night. Till now. It appears to me as if you don't know the panel you are facing. These are not just men. These are cabinet members. I mean, the men who decide what happens in Dakwa Kingdom. And you stand here telling us that he is nowhere to be found. What does that mean? I just told you, DJ. My colleague and I searched everywhere, but he was nowhere to be found. <laughs> It's okay. You can go back to your duty post. Uh, and that's, I am. I don't understand what is going on here. But how can we explain this? That the man who should be here with us explaining exactly what happened is nowhere to be found. How can we explain that? It's not possible. Um, the children. Definitely, something is fishy. That's for sure. And that that is fishy must be found out. Wow. I found a kahana. I found a kahana. I found here. I don't think there is any need staying back here in this palace. It is very obvious that the old man doesn't want to speak to us. I, I will suggest that we, we retire back to our various homes. 
I see it differently. When they refuse to speak, we have the tendency to actually see the plan. But one and one, we actually know. He must speak. He must speak. Oh, you go where you go. Oh, but that is the issue. It's your duku. I feel that calamity has befallen our land. You see, I know as an elder, not just elder, but elder in council, there are certain things you should not say. Chiliki me. I'm just saying, but it could be things have been going wrong from the early state of the king's emet. From one problem to another. What ability is she can you go? It appears to me as if there is something you know that I don't know. Can you talk to me? Something I know that you don't know. I questioned him for a while, but I told myself it might be an innocent gesture of the king. Maybe he wants to spend more time with the elders in council, more than Ono and Ukwayon. It appears as if there is something you want to tell me. Can you talk to me? <laughs> no, can you open up as a man in council and communicate? Well, you see, like me, as it is with you, shortly before his sickness got out of hand and he was taken out of the country, he used to call me to the palace. You? Yes. For what? I was very surprised the first time he called me as he had to come to the palace. But when I got there, his words were strange. His words were strange. Yes. How do you mean? I mean that uh, he was talking about the, the naughtiness of his life. That all was vanity upon vanity. And uh, he tries to know whether he can bring back the time to stop what they have done. But he couldn't. You see, there is something that you are not telling me and I, I want to hear it. But did he tell you what those things are? Those are his concerns? Did he tell you? He wouldn't specify, but he kept on talking in riddles. And I'm sure that there is something hidden that I can't just place my finger on. Mm. <laughs> it is so clear that they are pushing me to the wall. Yes, I can see. But, but let me tell you something, you see, Anyogu. I am that one man that <laughs> would never allow himself to be intimidated. I trust you. There is a problem in this kingdom, and trust me, I am going to find what that problem is. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But you can't hold up. 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 I trust you and I know what you can do. I'm behind you. You see, Doko? I've been calling him since last night, but he wouldn't take my calls. And this morning he's missing? That's information that got to the palace. Where could he have gone? With everything going on, he actually chose this time to go into hiding. <laughs> that is not making any sense at all. A lot of things going through my head. Like I can't think of anything. You know, for some reason, I have never trusted that man. I meant it when I say that there is something fishy about him. Sophia, the first time I laid my eyes on him, I knew he spelled trouble. Something is definitely about. 
<laughs> Things can't just keep going wrong around here. We have no reason. <sighs> if not that I'm on the road, I would have left this job. Look, why would you leave? I mean, what would you be doing when you leave? Do you know how people suffer to survive in this kingdom? I know all that. Okay? I know all that. But with the recent happenings in this palace, I feel there is something is wrong. Even Seriously. at that, even at that, I, I don't think living is the best idea. I don't think so. Um, seriously, Ndiche, it hasn't gotten to this. I mean, our major concern should be... I mean, let's just find out if he is okay. Uh, Princess Sophia, enough! Enough of all this nonsense going about in this kingdom. The peace and harmony we experience as a people is already under threat. Yes. Oh no, who of our kingdom owe oh, us an explanation? Okay. And that's about no who has gone missing. Exactly. Don't you understand what I'm saying here? Listen, we have come to the conclusion as men in council that he must be reported to the authorities. Wow. That is the simple truth. I thought Ono is your friend. You shouldn't be in the same view with us people. You shouldn't. In kingdom politics, my princess, emotions are totally out of the whole thing. Sentiments are held constant. Even if the Ono is close to me and is my best friend, I can't just sit down Fold my hands and watch him desecrate our land by running off instead of facing us. Organize okay, it. Oh my God. How, how are you sure he, he has something to do with this whole thing going on? What are you saying? I don't understand. Princess, what are you asking? No, no, no. That is why we are here. Exactly. And that is actually the reason for all this drama that is happening in our kingdom. We are aware that you know who has information that we seek, mm -hmm. and he is not willing to release that information. Yes. So we are asking you because we know that uh, you have the same information. Can you please oblige us? <laughs> Even no one, can you talk to us? Help us. Uh, excuse me. Uh, please tell us. You were with your know. We don't want to get inquiry from Abalaka. Oh. You don't want to give any inquiry. You don't want. You elders have got to be kidding me. Things are happening, going wrong from my father's burial till now. My father's corpse is missing. Eh? What? Hey, me, me what? I have And you all are all about a runaway or no? Like seriously? Did you say missing? <laughs> missing as in. Oh, I'm going to be found. Yeah, and that's the case. Well, am I the only one who is lost here? I'm is anybody here aware that the, I... the remains of the king has gone missing? I don't. I don't. I'm as surprised and shocked as you are. Hey! Abomination! Aru Karu! Aru Kongwanazu! Hey! So something of this nature is happening in this great kingdom and we don't know. Men in council. We the men in council. Hey. Something of this great magnitude. <laughs> hey. Don't you go understand what tradition is? So we would have invited all other clans. If it is their debt and Come and bury empty casket. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hey! Yes. We are looking for his remains. Yes. Hey, hey, but, hey, sorry. Princess Sophia, you really need to talk to us. When exactly did this happen? When? 
you know no who not aware of this. You know no one who is aware. Mm -hmm. Is that not why everything is happening? Oh, I am not saying that the complication to princess. Can you tell us what actually happened? What did the Abaraka say? Uh, tell no. us, please. Tell us. Tell us. Those are gunshots, right? Yes, but they've left. They left? But they left the package. Really? Sorry, yes. It's okay, get on. No, 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 no. Right. They say they've left. Are you sure? Let's go. And we'll catch up. <coughs> I don't understand all this. It seems this is becoming a blow. What each minute? Both of you. I know two of you know something about this matter. Tell us. And why would you think that, Ichi? You both seemed unfazed <laughs> when we suggested to report the disappearance of Olo. To the police. Secondly, both of you have been hiding a whole lot for us. So, I am not too surprised for what you're saying. It's very glaring now. Ichi, it's like you know so much. So, why have you been causing commotions about finding him earlier today? I suspect your actions. Ichi, are you sure you are not the one behind everything that's been going on? Me? What are you saying? <laughs> oh. What? It, it hurts to, to be accused, right? That is when your hands are clean. Mm -hmm. Of course. If your hands are clean and you have been accused, it will hurt. Really? Because clear conscience, they say, fears no accusation. Uh -huh. But let me tell you something. It is so very obvious that both of you, there is something that you are hiding from us with your know who, and we are asking you, what are you hiding? What are you hiding? Mom! Mom, what are you doing here? Cindy, just one thing that I asked you to do. Keep her in her room, but you couldn't! Don't go from your sister like that. I insisted to be here. I had gunshots. I was worried. Mom, you shouldn't be worried. Everything is under control. Please. Sophia, I may have been deranged with the recent happenings in the palace now, but I'm not stupid. All of you, start talking now. Okay. Mom! Uh, <laughs> Don't you think you've had enough already? I mean, you should be resting. I demanded for an answer. 
Your not some is. stupid concern. What is going on? My queen, the gunshot you have is just an alert to a message. A message? Only who will deliver to us in a package with a caption, murderer on him. And he was battered and bruised by whom I suspected to be the same perpetrator trying to send this kingdom in wrongs. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's any possibility that she's the one who has stolen the corpse of the late king. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. 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 What? The corpse. Sophia. Claire. What is happening here? Cindy. Do you know anything about this? No, Mom. I don't know. Apparently, we were not the only ones that were kept in the dark. Your Majesty, Ono is critically ill, and the doctor said he has lost a lot of blood. I, 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 I yeah. yeah, we should donate blood for those. This kingdom has fallen apart. No, no. Even that you know, uti tingwalo, itili mukintili, tinka. Makano mbiliji. Have from back where you go. It's a book at it. You're married, Abel. You're married, I'm not Abel. Is there a doko? A doko? What is going on in Dangwa land? What is happening in that world? To think that those girls actually kept the queen in the dark is a... I don't even know. I don't know what to call it. I don't know how to describe it. You do. Right from the one on set. Oh no, who denied that he knew nothing about this problem. Very strange. But he was beaten a bruised zone to the extent of no recognizable. Hmm. What happened? You know, he lied to us, making us to feel as if we hate him or that we don't like him. The truth of the matter Why? is that in my entire life as a man of Dankwa Kingdom, as a cabinet member, I have never seen anything like this. Never. And it, it is so clear now that our kingdom has fallen into the hands of dark men. No. And from what I am seeing, it is possible that even the gods and the ancestors of Dankwa they have turned their backs on us. No. It is obvious. No, 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 no. I can't believe that. Me! I! I am! No. I'm a justified man. I'm the last man to the gate. I hate evil. And soon as God's our land will justify us. They should better I'm sure. Listen, they should better start in time to justify us. They will. Because I wouldn't want a situation where our sons and our children, our children's children will in the future begin to suffer on the account of what they don't know. No. So that the gods and the ancestors, they should rise up and do something. They will. Look, the character of Ono is beyond the immeasurable and irreparable calamity. Who wakes liar must have to wait for his reactions. His problem is for him, and our are for us. Call the What in the world were you girls thinking, keeping this away from me? Mom, you've been going through so much this past month, and we did it in your best interest. Best to keep away something I have every right to know? What is this secret you guys share with your late father? First I got to know about his ailments when he was feeling us away to the grave, and now this! Mom. We're only thinking of your welfare. If you were concerned about me, then you shouldn't have kept this away from me or anything of that matter. It is my right! Now listen. Do that 
to know. They almost left him dead. So the doctor said, if they hadn't brought him here today, he would have been dead. And the gas? Didn't they see the people? Mom, they shot into the air, brought him in a sacked bag, dropped him there, and they summed up. <laughs> we all know who is behind this. But what does she want? Mom, she is after the blood and she is drawing very close. Mom, how clean was that? I am sorry, but I just need to ask because I'm getting confused with everything that is happening. Please tell me. I need to know so I can know how to handle things. How clean was that? And now he has been kidnapped, battered and bruised beyond recognition. Oh no. What did you do? What did you commit? What are you hiding from everybody? And do you want to take this secret to your grave or what? Even when it is going to cost you your life. No. No. It is morning already. I mean, you're here still thinking. What is it? Eh? What has kept my husband wide awake like a bat? What is it? And I. What could have kept my husband wide awake like a bat? Asami, my beautiful wife, a lot of things are going wrong in my kingdom. It is this kingdom again. Now, why are you letting the weight of all these things to rest on your shoulder? You are not the king, or oh, oh no. Why are you letting it get to you? Listen to me, Asama. This is my land. And this is the only land I can comfortably call my land. The politics and the everything in this kingdom is my obsession. When things are not going right, it gets me disturbed. Okay? No. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. That's my problem. That's why I'm not able to sleep. Everything in my kingdom is falling apart. And there is nothing I can do about it. It is driving me crazy. No, no. Don't let everything going wrong in this kingdom get to you. You are not the only person in this kingdom. You, 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 you don't understand. And from the way you are going, you will not be able to understand. So I don't think there's any need discussing this with you. I do. I get it in my... Some bad men did something that has halted the peace and harmony we have enjoyed for years. Why are you allowing the weight to rest on your shoulder? Listen to me, Asama. At any point in time in the history of any kingdom when things are going wrong, there are men that, that will always rise in that kingdom to put things right. Those are men that can even sacrifice their lives to make sure that things are working well in their land. If it happens that I am that woman who will get it right in my kingdom, who will go all out to make sure that things are working according to plan, so be it. This is the only land that I can call my land and I can go all out for this land. Okay. As ready as I can be. Listen, 
take a deep breath and I promise you, you're going to be fine. Come on, you know I'm not used to this. I'm only good at saving your ass from going to the prison than engaging myself in, in violence, you know. Well, there's always a first time, don't you think so? If you like, go there and make it a mantra. But remember, this is for dad. His justice. For that. Remember, I'm ready. Good. So, so we're going to meet Bugatti and the rest of the team before we head out. Alright? Alright. Where are you just going to? Cindy. What are you doing here? Where's mom? In her room. Are you girl? To a place that is none of your business. Now, go in there and be a good drawing daughter that you are. Take care of the queen till we get back. You are going to confront that girl, right? No. Six. What is this? You have always been the pressure of good. And now you are following her ways. Well, even the pastors and high respected men of God saw their hands to a point to get to where they are. And I tell you that hers would be no different. She's so different from you. You are the one who's been ruining this family's name for a long time. Too bad <laughs> that I am not the center of attraction this past couple of days. Cindy, what does that tell you? Stop. Stop. Cindy, please just go back to the room and take care of mom. We'll be back before you know it, okay? Please. Okay. Move! You know, for someone of your talent, and professionalism, you sure took your time to get here. Why not? I mean, you never know what is lurking in the dark. You scooped the area. Good to know you're scared. Why am I here? There have to be a reason why I should leave my comfortable place to be in this unforsaken place. We need a kidnapped corpse of my father. And what makes you think I have them? Five million naira. You give me the cups. I lay him to rest. Then afterwards, we talk about whatever it is when we are done. Five million. Is that all you think of your father? Ten million. I need his cups. I want to put him to rest. <laughs> you see, Princess Sophia. There is no peace for the wicked, so I'd advise you to stop trying. You know what? You know what? Fuck the negotiations! Hey! You are going to give me my father's corpse, or I will be forced to blow your fucking head off with this trigger. Then the consequences. I dare you. Enough, all of you. Cindy, what are you doing and how did you get here? I followed two of you. Oh, holy. I knew you people had some plans up your sleeves. But I never thought it was this. We are supposed to be talking about this amicably and not pointing guns at each other. Amicably? Do you think these fowls understand the word amicable? Huh? <laughs> we have had enough in the last few days. Shouldn't we be looking for a way to talk and iron things out? There is nothing to talk about. Your sisters here think I have your father's corpse. And that I have no intentions of explaining. You know what? I have had enough of this useless meetings. Oh, 
What just happened? Those coconut heads shot at you. They tried to kill you. I knew this was already a bad idea the moment they got themselves linked up with Bugatti. I knew they were up to something. <sighs> Who knows what would have happened if we had not combed the area. She saved my life. She took a bullet for me. This does not look like she saved your life or tried taking a bullet for you. If you had listened to me, all of this would not have happened. Do you think she's going to be okay? You were almost shot at too. So you need to get home and be safe. Maria, take us out. Damn. The mission was clear. Do not release until we are sure the target standards did. Don't you all understand? Then why? Why open fire? Sorry, boss. But we had a clear shot. So, so you shot the princess? It was a mistake. Listen and listen good. Nobody messes up with my instructions. And you better pray she survives, else you join him soonest. Clean up this mess. Hello, officer. Are you listening to me at all? I told you my daughters are missing, as in they did not come home last night. What nonsense are you even talking about? Telling me to wait till 24 hours. Well, I am not waiting. I don't care what you do or how you do it. I want my daughters home safe and sound. What nonsense is this? Do, you, do I make myself clear? Rubbish. Do their job, they won't. Where is Cindy? She's not home. I thought she went out with you people. Oh. Oh, I want to tell you something. Oh, well, start by telling me where you two soiled your hands like this in blood. Mom. Start talking! Mom, we kind of... Sophia? Can you tell me what is happening? Claire, why, why, are you, why are you quiet? Mom, I'm sorry. I am deeply sorry. Mom, I shouldn't have encouraged this. I, I, I should have stopped it. Sophia, tell me, what are you talking about? What is all this? You're confusing me the more. Call me Cindy. What, what about Cindy? Is my daughter okay? Is she hot? What happened to her? Claire? What happened to her? She's dead. Boom. You must be joking. Claire? What is she saying? What are you talking about? Please tell me you're joking. Where is my daughter? Where is my daughter? Where is the baby now? Where is the Desires of the flesh, so deep and strong, but the flesh is so weak. Hey! Go to the land. You go to kingdom. Go to freedom. Can you hear me? I am a Hey! Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm, 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 mm. Hey! I and the girl told me it was Princess Cindy. Because, is it true? Oh no, it's true. Eh? Is it okay? Eh? It's true. Eh? Eh, we are going to go to the house. We are going to go to Milana, who? Milana, who? What are you going to do? Eh? Gods of our ancestors, please come to our rescue. Eh? I can't do it. Yo! Agame! Agame! Ha! Hey! Princess Cindy, I'm going to tell you. Dead. You can't have a company to make a company to make a company to make a company to make a company. What is this? Princess Cindy, I'm going to make a company. Dead. Gone. I'm gone forever. Hey! Hey! demoralized as you. We can't stop regretting what just happened. Why did you people allow her to leave the palace? Why did you involve her in your brutal ways? Why? Why? No, please. Oh. Mm -hmm. We are sorry. Please. I tried to stop her. I tried to oh. stop it. Mom, she came on her own. I mean, this is one tragedy. I wish I could just reverse. Mom, please, we are sorry. Please, Mom. Please. My baby was not a troublemaker. Why, 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 why we gonna allow such a thing to happen? Mom, please, this is enough. No, this is not enough. Don't tell me it's enough. Don't. How? How can God allow such a thing to happen? Tell me, why is God punishing me so much for no reason? First it was your father and now Cindy. Tell me, how am I supposed to live with this? My baby! My baby! My Cindy! <laughs> What do you okay, want me to okay, do? Please, I'm begging you. Please. I want my daughter back. I want her back. What has happened has happened. Even if we cry for now till next year, it is not going to bring Cindy back. We should be planning a way forward. How do we arrange her burial and a befitting one? Eh? Oh no! 
Who do I hear you say? Daria. Ha! Begini. Akbomu mili no onu ku. Burial. We have to bury her. Don't we? We do. Uru. Are you still sitting to bury her? Eh? Are you serious, Uru? Biko, what else do you do for the dead? If not give them their deserved respect. Princess Cindy's time has come and gone. It is time to bid her farewell on her journey to the great beyond. In all honesty, elders and council, there is something I am itching to say. But listening to Dionu, I mean, the way he is going about this meeting, mm -hmm. I don't even know how to start. Right. Hey, hey, Jake. I am sorry. But you should not be seeing it like that. Uh, listen, uh, I don't understand, you know. No. Are you joking with us now? What do you mean by that? Oh no, there is a body we are yet to lay to rest in this kingdom. A body we have just been informed has gone missing. We are not talking about just anybody. We are talking about the body of the king. Not just the king of any kingdom, but a king of a kingdom as mighty as our Dankwa kingdom. Huh. That body has gone missing as we have just been informed. And then suddenly, the princess, one of the daughters of that man, dies. And you are suggesting that we plan the burial of the daughter. That princess, we are not talking about the king. To fear power! Be very careful. Be very careful. Be mindful of your words. How dare you employ the word to fear what on a matter that is before you know? I don't understand. To fear what is one of the words we have in our Igbo dictionary. No, are we now going to stop using to fear what because you know who is important? I, 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 I don't understand. Why you angry? And let me even say it, you know, in all the kingdoms that we know, when you know who has decided not to reason as a human being. Then the elders and council must talk to the new anyhow. No, you Oh, God. Why am I talking to you? I'm beginning to believe that you are aiming at something else. There's a question that's been itching your tongue to ask for the longest time. Let me do the honors. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. We know very well. That uh, whatever that has happened has something to do with you and the king. Mm -hmm. Now, an innocent girl has been dragged into it and she is dead. Where is your conscience? Uh, 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 you know, I, 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 in as much as I will admit that you have spoken so well, I, I want to disagree with the word of the point when you. Well, if I the girl as innocent, it's a bit out of place. I'm sorry? Because there is no way you can ascertain that this girl was actually innocent. What are you driving at? Hey, yo, okay, what I am driving at, you know who is that you owe us an explanation. You owe this council of elders an explanation. Exactly. There is something you know that we don't know. And that is something we are supposed to know. And you must tell us. Yes. Ah, tell us. Guan, I don't have any idea what you are talking about. Really? Oh no! I, I don't know. Are you actually thinking that we are not intelligent at all? No. You were the one that appointed is you and you my humble self. Uh -huh. Yes. That we should go to Malacca to extract information. But and then mischievously, you move with the princess to the same Malacca to extract that same information, and you are sitting on the information. We met the son of Abalaka and he told us that his father spoke to you. And even Abalaka himself, before he was no longer able to say anything, he said, Oh no, knows everything. Bah. So why will you not say that you don't have any idea? How can you be saying that? And, and you believe him more than you know? I don't understand. 
This has gone beyond what I believe as an individual. Oh. In fact, oh no, oh, look at you. Oh no, you were kidnapped. Look at your legs. They shot you in the legs. Mm -hmm. Your brain almost opened up. They brought you back in a sack. Oh no. It is not that we are using the kingdom revenue to take care of you. I help you. No, something is wrong. And you know about all these things. Why are you not talking to us? In this year, in all honesty, if there's anything I knew, I would have told you a long time ago. Get down! Hey! Hey! Come on! Who is it? Would you now? Not again. Not again. Any step from you all, and I swear to God, I'm going to send you to your ancestors. Sit your asses down. Now! Oh no! How is your leg? Or should I say, how are you in general? Oh. Oh, no. I am talking to you! How did you even get in here? I have my face. Elders of Dankwa! Believe me when I say this is not the best way I would have introduced myself to you all. But you see, your princesses did something and I was left to no other option. Where I had it. You've terrorized us for, for, for so long. Made us live in fear. I, I believe you know your reasons. Same reason your honor who he has hey. refused to tell me. Hey. Could you oblige us with the stories, please? Shut up! Again! Of course I will. That is why I am here. Where are the other parties? We wouldn't want them to miss out, would we? Woman! These are headers in Castle of Tanqua. And you are speaking with them. Would you mind choosing your words? And I said I do not care. My God, my God. And one more word from you, I swear to God, I will blow your brains off. I ask again. Where are the princesses? Majesty. I wanted to keep her safe. All of them. At least to keep the memories of their father. What he would he do if destroyed us all? Queen, okay. it is okay. It is fine. You can continue crying forever, eh? I failed. Maybe that is because you are too useless for a mom. Don't even think about it. You do not have any right to be here. You have no right to shoot Sandra. Sad as it may be, I sympathize with the dead. You both should not have killed her because of the shit that you pulled. You are really intruding her. Show your legal jargons down your ass. Note it. No law works in this country. If it does, then a lot of things will go wrong at the right time and people will overlook it. Face it! This country is messed up! Fuck up! And so are all of you! Move it! Now! Move! Move it! I said move! 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 Move it! You follow me. Keep 
The people I wanted to see the most. You know, you really have some nerves showing your disgusting face here after murdering my sister. Murder? That is a strong word. I know how it feels to lose someone so dear to you. But believe me when I say I never knew the prayer back to sender works until that night. I would have my bullets blown straight into your brain. But I would not. But I owe your sister my life. And I believe she wouldn't want you but dead. At least. Not until you know what all these are all about. Your reasons are stupid and useless. Do you know what I feel like doing to you right now? I feel like strangling and squeezing the life out of you! Trust me, Claire. You might want to strangle someone here. Or maybe two! be precise but you need to know what you are up to now get down don't yeah. get out no go down i said no i want to you and i you daughter of jezebel why are you doing this what has my daughter cindy got to do with your madness Inkiro, that was her name. Inkiro, you wouldn't have forgotten her, your majesty. She was a decent woman, not a Jezebel. Inkiro, Inkiro Bisiki, you are... Are you Ifunanya? Seems like six years ago feels just like yesterday. You all haven't forgotten. You are dead. We got the news. You died in prison. And here I am before you, in flesh and in blood. So it's not enough that you killed your own mother. You killed my daughter Cindy too. I am sure you have some blood lost deep in your vein, don't you? I would choose my words carefully if I were to be you. Because right now, I do not have any control over my raging anger. What is worth living for? Desire. What is not worth living for? Pain, anguish, and anger. Your king, your father, made me feel both. Uh, if I am uh, there is something you are trying to say to us. Uh, Please, can you help us? Can you please say it for us to know our stand? We are confused as many castles. I was just a timid girl, an average girl with a single mother, with the dream just to better our lives. I wanted just one thing, to be in school like every other girls of my age would be, and someone of importance in the community. I had no voice because I was a bastard child 
of my mother who got pregnant at the age of 14. I had no father and my mother would never mention who my father was. The great man said, I am the best. Even when I did not properly participate, I ran away from that event, but he followed me up. We were expecting punishment, but we saw something different. If I am you are really doing so well. Help us for us to know where we stand. Who is the great man? Oh, no, but that. Wow. Have you sworn never to listen to me? What I care? Oh, give me come here again. Mama, why are you sounding so angry? What wrong have I done to you? Don't tell me you don't know what you have done, you silly girl. So after all my warnings for you not to show your face in that place, you still went ahead and went there. Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you dare lie to me. You don't even know the news making waves in the whole kingdom that you, what I care, give me what I care, that the king singled you out and you walked out on him. In Ayala. Huh? That's not exactly what happened. No, I didn't. And you shouldn't be listening to what people say. You should, you should trust what your daughter said to you. Yes, man. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. You tell me what, why you should be disobeying me. What is she talking about? I have done nothing wrong. And that is not exactly how everything happened. What's it, Elam? Woman, ruler guards of Dankwa Kingdom demanding your presence in the palace. Only him and Ozo. Mama, me? Ajengi. What have you done again? Why does it appear to me as if you're not comfortable in the palace? Is it because I did not allow you to sit with the king in the temple to me? Well, it is because you're not qualified to sit with the king like that. You know what you did? My beautiful wife, I don't like the way you're talking to this girl. For God's sake, she's my guest and I know that. That is why I asked them to fix her something to eat from the kitchen. Uh, what did I do wrong? No, 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 you didn't do anything. Yeah. What the chemistry with the picture handling the girl makes me think. I mean, Stephanie, will you want to have something to eat from the kitchen? No, Your Majesty. I am not hungry. Stephanie, what favor do you demand from the king? Why are you quiet? The king is asking you a question. Why are you behaving like someone is chasing after you? Say what you want. Tell the king what you want. Say it! Um, sorry, your majesty. You said... Tell the king of Dankwa what you want from him. I... I don't know why I will ask the king for anything. I have not done anything for the king. You must not have done anything to qualify for the king's benevolence. The king wants to bless you because you are better than others. You should not say no. If I, you don't have to answer right away. Take your time. Calm down, take your time. You can come back anytime to tell me what you want. Oh, okay. yeah, feel free. Anytime. You cannot go inside. My legs is coming 
cannot stop me from seeing the king. My daughter is inside. And only God knows what he's doing to her. Would you come? Hey, Maya, you Come out, let me know. Madam, please, go home. You cannot go inside. When he's through with her, he will send her back to you. Oh, say, Nene. Oh, Shaggy. Listen, I have been calmly speaking to you. If you don't want me to do it quietly, me, I say, Nene, stop with the nozzle. But that's my German. Madam, you can't go inside. Pull up, Madam. You're not going anywhere. Leave me alone. You can't go inside. You can't go inside. What's happening here? What's this noise? Your Majesty. Please. I am here to see you. Please. 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 Please, tamper justice with mercy, please. Do not punish my daughter punish for her daughter. crime. Instead, punish me. Punish your daughter? Yes, if you go. So, who are you? Um, your majesty, she's my mother. Yes. Because... Your mother? Yes. Uh, it's okay, woman. You don't have any reason to worry. Mm. Your daughter is fine. Eh? I did not invite her here to punish her. I had my reasons, but it's okay. Uh, we have reached a common ground. Okay. Understand that. Um, if I may, Your Majesty. I'll make sure your request is granted. Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, okay. Your Majesty will be on our way home now. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, no. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. If Nana, if Nana, are you going to tell me what transpired between you two or not? You've been utterly quiet and seem to be in utter shock. Huh? Have I? Yes. You've been in a daze. What did he tell you and what does he say he wants? Oh. Mama, you will not believe it. Believe what? The king asked me what I wanted. I mean, a favor he should do for me. And you said? School. Yes. That is the only problem we have, Mama. I said school. And guess what, mother? He said he will do it. Are you crazy? If Nanya Chuku, you said it yes to him. What wrong have I done in raising you? Mama, why are you sounding like this? You're supposed to be happy. I mean, what we are suffering for, we are getting it in a platter of gold, mother. Hey. Happy for what? Happy that you're selling your soul to his favor? Hi, Tineke man. Selling my soul? Listen, get went to my wedding. You're going back to the palace and respectfully refuse that offer. We don't need it. No, mother, I will not. Uh -uh. This is what we've always wanted, mama, and someone asked me for it without me struggling and you want me to say no? But I will not say no. This is what I want and opportunity I'm looking for and I cannot say no. If Nanya, it's me you won't. I will not. I swear by my late father. If you don't go back to do what I just said to you, my house will not contain both of us if you don't do what I say. I'm a mumbagi. I don't even know my Church of Basra. You think you're going to work in our school? In our school, I'm going to cook and dance. I'm thinking, where? What is wrong with my mother? Why is she acting this way? I can't reject this offer. I can't. If Nayaji, I have told you and I will tell you again. Go and decline that offer. No, Mama. And I have told you this that I would not. I will not, Mama. This is a golden opportunity and I cannot let it go. This is what I have always wanted. It is what you've always wanted for me. So why should I let it go, Mama? I will not. Is that so? Okay. We shall see between you and I whose words will prevail in this house. I got my woman, I got you okay. It's me, you won't. Mother, please. Mama, please, I am begging you. 
all my life, all I have heard people say is how I'm a bastard child without a name. All I have heard is people make mockery of you, your dignity. Mama, this will change everything. I want to change everything. Please. Hey, home, Mom. I am not doing this because I hate you. I love you so much. You are everything I have. I can move mountains if it means giving you the happiness you deserve. But you see, one thing I cannot do is to watch you make the same mistake. The same foolish mistake I made. Mama, I am not you. You are not me, Mama. We don't have the same destiny. Mother, I need this and you know it. Please. If Nanya, if Mom, I promised you, didn't I? I will do everything for you. When? Mother, when? When my mates are already graduates and they're working? Or when my mates already have families or children playing in their compound? Mother, I do not know the issue you have with the palace. And I don't want to know. But I will not let this opportunity go. I will not. I don't deserve it, yet the king has been generous to give this to me. He has taken away your burden, your responsibility. You should be happy, mother. Happy? I should be happy. And thank him for doing his... Biko, Biko, Biko. If Nanya, I am tired. I had a long day in the market. I need to rest. I have told you what I have told you. Go and decline the offer. If you don't do it, I will go to the palace myself and decline it. Have you heard me? Hey, Uchi Pam. Uchi Mi Jesu Ike. Go. Imi Ife Na De Rama Anwa Arupa Bagi Tinye Yaka Sobo Ya Bata Wani Bazu Ife Na Toto De Webu Nsori Madone Sobo Jesoli Be very grateful. Very, very grateful that you're doing this for her. I really, really appreciate. And, but, Your Majesty, we cannot uh, accept such huge favor from you. Pico, I understand, please. Young lady, is that really what you want? Yeah. I'm asking your daughter. Is that what you want? Yeah, yes. You decline the favor that you've already asked the king. Yes. You want to go to school? To go to the university? See the four walls of the university? To be a graduate? Is that what you want? Now answer me truthfully. You want to go to school? Yes, your majesty. Yes. Good. If that is what you want, that you will get. Really? But, uh, but I understand. Of what use is it to kill the dream of a young girl, your daughter? She wants to be a graduate and attend university, see the four walls of her school. She cannot because of financial difficulties, financial problems. Okay, now I've come in. I'll take care of that. Remove your hands. Everything that has to do with our education, financial implications, forget about it. I'll take care of it. Okay? Uh, I understand. If and I. Now go get me your admission letter. The letter from Jam. Let's proceed from there. We'll get your admission. Your Majesty, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> What is going on? Who is here? Um, 
Good afternoon, my queen. Good afternoon. <laughs> I know you must be wondering what I'm doing here. But not to worry. Everything is fine. I am just here to talk to your mother about something. She really needs some convincing to buy this idea. Mama, are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Just like the queen said, I needed some convincing. Mm -hmm. So she made me see it from uh, a mother's mm -hmm. perspective. <laughs> so, does that mean you're in support? What can I do? Your happiness first. <laughs> thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, thank you. I told you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, my queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I have to be on my way now. Okay. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am so happy. Thank you, Mom. I don't understand, Mama. I don't understand. Why does everyone see us as flakes? Your brothers, my uncles. I don't even have friends. Because nobody wants to associate themselves with me. The sight of me discussed your own brothers. What did I do wrong? What did we do wrong? Nothing. Absolutely nothing, my dear. Then what? Are we outcast? No, Ifunanya. We are normal. Very normal people. Just that for some reasons. People think that I'm not being truthful enough. About what? Anyway, I don't care about what people think or believe. And I owe no one explanation or apologies. If Nanya, you don't have to think that you don't have friends. I'm sure you'll make new ones in school. Okay? This shouldn't be bothering you. You don't have to shed tears because of this. Oh, mom. We are good people. Just that the world don't want to understand us. Clean your tears. Okay? Feature Nike. This my daughter. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> What are you still doing outside here by this time of the night, under this cold? Huh? Are you still thinking about your friend Ojuwa? Are you still disheartened by her actions? Yes, Mama. Yes. It would be so insincere of me if I tell you I'm not. I am broken. You see, I didn't have much friends since I became pregnant with you. Yes, it still surprises me how Asama, who used to be my very good friend, could buy into the idea of what people are saying about me. Anyway, if you are about to live your dreams and that should be your priority. Not all this. I know, Mama. I understand. If Nanya, I know I may not be of my best behavior for the past few months. But I want you to know that I love you so much. You are everything I have. And I am always here for you. Okay? Mama, and I love you too. I love you too. Um, 
Can I ask you a question? Yes. What is it? Did you know the king? Yes. Everyone knows the king. I know. Um, not in that way. I mean, in a personal way. Where is this question coming from? What do you mean? It's fine. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I understand. Good night. I'm still surprised, Your Majesty. Why are you surprised? I mean, who am I that the King of Damqua Kingdom will pay me a visit at night? <laughs> this is a special night. You know, by tomorrow, you'll be going back to school, to the university. So I said um, it will be wise to pay you a special visit. Because I know by the time you go back to the campus, we'll not see you again until maybe the end of the semester. <laughs> Your Majesty, I cannot thank you enough. I still don't know what I have done to deserve such kindness from you. You are a nice man. Mm. Because only a nice man would do such a thing for a stranger. Thank you so much, Ooh, Your Majesty. Point of correction. You are not a stranger. <laughs> you are a special citizen of my kingdom. <laughs> and special citizens demand special attention. I understand. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, this is the key to your apartment. Yes, the school apartment. Key? Yes. An apartment? Of course, yes. <sighs> your Majesty, I just called a friend and she said I can squat in a place. I have my own apartment. Yes, you have your own apartment. Ah, Your Majesty, yeah. thank you so much. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. I am so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> you cannot support because you're a special citizen. <laughs> that is why the kingdom is providing you with an apartment. And you will enjoy this apartment. It's just very close to the campus gate. Really? Fine place, fully furnished. You will love it. Your Majesty, thank you so much. Thank you. God will bless you for no, me. You don't thank need to you. thank me. All we need you to do is to go there, study well, be the best of what they can find in that university. Of By the time you come back, the kingdom of Dankwa will celebrate you. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just so tomorrow morning, the driver will be here to pick you up and drop you off at school. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Damn God will celebrate you by the time we come back. <laughs> My prayers were answered and I was so happy. He provided me with everything I wanted. Everything I needed in school. He became the father figure I never had. He was the only one that never judged my existence and my mother's. But neither did I know that behind that angel there was a devil in disguise. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. To a kind man like that, you are wrecking his home, his name, and you say you want justice? What sick as justice do you want from a kind man like that? Shh. You don't know this, Claire. And I don't appreciate to be interrupted when I am speaking. Oh, what? 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 I will kill you and I will sweep your dirt under the carpet that no one will ever speak of you again. Please. 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 Please.
I am begging you. Don't do it. Please. Please. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, I never knew how much of a devil he was until my third year in the university. Then he started to show himself. Then I knew how much of a devil he really was. I literally spent most of my holidays visiting the palace and telling him about my school tears. He loved to hear me talk about them. He also likes looking at me in a different kind of way. Beautiful girl. You're the brightest star when you smile. So smile a little for me. Smile, come on. Um, Your Majesty, I have to go now. Mm. But it is still early hours of the evening, so spend some more time with me. Oh, yes. Um, but you see, Your Majesty, my mother, I mean, I've not been coming home lately and she's getting worried about me. Very well then. I understand. I'll get the driver and come on the drivers to drive the truck. Oh, uh, Your Majesty, that would not be necessary. I mean, you don't have to stress the maiden on my behalf. I'll eat when I get home. I miss you all, Medina. Okay. Um, Your Majesty, mm -hmm. I have to go now. Yes. Ma, why are you turning your food back? Uh, name, good evening. Mama. You're eating without your daughter. I hope you left some for me because I'm famished. Haven't you eaten? No, Mama, I have not. I thought you would eat in your second home. How do I bend there's a kish? Mama, it hasn't gotten to that now. Mama, I want to join you and eat. Huh? Mama, did you cook for only yourself? And did you just leave this house without cooking? Yes, Maya. Huh? I thought I told you to cook before I left for market. And I came back here. I had to enter the kitchen myself and start cooking. When I'm tired and famished. Eh, Fulanya? 
And you're busy asking me if I if I cook for myself alone. Mama, I'm sorry. I wanted to cook, but the king called and and the king. Of course he did. Mama. Mama. If Nanya. Please, I'm begging you. Edim Tine kept nearly when I hug him. Leave me to eat this food. I'm hungry. Big go. Mom, your daughter, should I bring spoon and come and join you? Biko, go to the kitchen and check. There is still something remaining there that can hold you for the night. When you are going to be here. Why are you dressed like this? Where are you going to? Um, I'm following you to the market. Maybe I'm like me. Maybe yes. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I need to follow you so we'll say all this. You see. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I've not been on my best behavior lately. It's just that I've been trying to balance things in my life. I mean, I don't want the king to see me as selfish and ungrateful. And I'm sorry that I've not been assisting you through all the blocks. I'm sorry. But henceforth, I will support you like a daughter should. If one, there is nothing to forgive. I should be the one asking you for forgiveness. Mm -mm. I shouldn't have been that harsh to you. Me or four people should be able to understand the, the situation you are in. Then communicate with you very well and not be in harsh. I'm sorry. I'm the only one. Mother, your feelings are justified. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Don't want to be cut. Let's go. I'm okay. this one. Yes, I'll fact the one. This uh -huh. one. It's <laughs> mine. What is going on? You're not dressed yet. Um. See, today I'll be going to the market with my mother. I need to help her sell all this. But the king... Don't worry. I will call him and tell him my decision. I will come and see him later this evening. Okay? But say for Naya, you know the Can king's mood. Please go and tell him what I just said. I will come and meet him later, but I'm going to the market with my mother now. We need to say all this, please. It's not a problem. I'll come in the evening. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. You want? Thank you. <laughs> you know he's your sponsor. I wouldn't want you to hurt your education on the way because of me, mom. Eh? Mama, eh? it's not a problem. It's not like I, I did not tell him I won't come. I will go, but later in the evening, let's go and sell all this first, okay? But you know this, your schooling is important to me It now. is important to me too, but we need to sell all. Don't you need money? I need money. Oh yeah, you're my Oh. 
Hi. It's me. Yes, I'm here to see the king. What are you doing here? What do you know what am I doing here? I told you I'll come to see the king in the evening and I'm here to see the king. But you failed to call him to inform him. Oh yes, I'm sorry. It skipped my mind. But I'm here now, so... Um... Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. Can I go and see the king now? I'm sorry. Can't see him. Why? Is the king sick? He's not. But, uh... He doesn't want to be disturbed. He's resting. What do you mean he doesn't want to be disturbed? Tell him if Naya is here to see him. I know you want me to see him. Like I said, the king is resting. He doesn't want to be disturbed. Not so much in the hall, do you? Sit here. So who is here? Ephraim? Your Majesty. Ephraim, you decided to come. Yes, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, it's just that I had some things to attend to, mm -hmm. so I just had to do them all. Huh? You kept me standing because of them? Hmm? Did you realize what happened to him? For not bundling you to the palace? Um... Your Majesty, the... The mark on his face. Yes. You hit him? Yes. Because of me? Mm -hmm. Oh, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I just wanted to spend some time with my mother too. I'm your Lord and your King. I'm your everything. You answer me whenever and wherever I call you. Do you understand me? Unlike this beautiful Sherry here, she answers me at the slightest impulse. The moment I invite her, she's there for me. You know her? She's Sebube, the daughter of Ivego. She knows how to dance, how to move, how to swing. Unlike you. And yet you bluff. My angel. You go. I'll invite you when next I need your beautiful touch. Sweet girl. Okay, my friend. Sweet girl. <laughs> bye bye. So come with me. Your Majesty? Yes. Your Majesty? Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, <laughs> Your Majesty, why did you bring me here? And why are you locking the door? How, how would you like it? Like what? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take it easy with you. Uh, Your Majesty, is everything all right with you? I'm okay. Um, Your Majesty, I'm not comfortable here. I want to go outside. I'll, I'll make you comfortable. Don't worry. Your Majesty, I'll please. It. I'll take it easy. Your Majesty, is everything I'll, okay with you? I'll take it easy. No, I'll take it easy. Your Majesty, I'll are you it. drunk? I'll take it your Majesty, will not please your heart for me. Your Majesty, please, your Majesty, please, your Majesty, please, your Majesty, please, don't do this to me. Your Majesty, what is happening? Don't worry, your Majesty, I'll take please, it please, go. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you'd be very sweet, and you proved me right. I, I mean, I felt I was in heaven. Thank you. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Is this what you've always wanted from me? Is this the reason why you've been so good to me? <laughs> I, I, I was thinking you enjoyed it and you, you should be happy. I don't understand why you're shedding tears. All the same, uh, you should get ready to leave. Eh? Uh, the driver will come and take you home. How am I supposed to live when you practically tore my clothes? How oh, am I supposed to live? That, 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 that's something taken care of. The palace keeper will come with your clothes. And then on the final note, if you know what is good for you, keep this as a secret between us. Don't tell it to anybody except you want somebody to be hurt. But I must say thank you for a second time. I enjoyed it. 
Is this what he does to young women of Tanqua Kingdom? A man who rules over a people as their king is an experienced rapist and the gods are silent. Do we still have gods in this land? The queen of Tanqua, is she aware of this? Can this level of atrocity be happening in the palace and she doesn't know? If Nanya... <coughs> what happened? You say you're going to be there for a while. Give me a message. Um... Mama... I... I just took longer than expected. If Nanya, are you okay? You look pale. What is wrong with you? Mom. I'm fine. Um, I'm just tired. I'm going inside. Tired, okay. If Nanya. you had gone long ago. Hmm? Yes, Mama. I'm, I'm going now. Are you okay? Hmm? If woman, are you alright? Hmm? I'm fine. I'm fine, Mama. Are you sure? and pretend that nothing is wrong but I can't help being worried that is why I'm asking what is troubling you nothing I'm fine if Naya tell me what is wrong with you does it have anything to do with school school no mama everything in school is fine no, I'm fine if Nanya, I refuse to believe that nothing is wrong with you. Yes, you're not fine. You have been a completely different person in the past week. If Nanya, how can you make 
If you are not comfortable talking to me, who will you talk to? Eh? It's for me, I have all four. Tell me. Is he the king? Did he do anything to you? Mama, why are you always bringing the king to your conversation? I am fine. I just have one or two things going through my head, but I will settle them all. It's nothing to be worried about. Okay? She's not home. She has not been home in a long time. But you don't have to worry. Tell His Majesty that when she comes back, I will tell her and she'll come and see him. You know? But someone told me that she saw No, her. that is the wrong information. Oh, I she she can she can it again. She's not home. Oh I'm cold. Don't you think I want her home too? And <laughs> oh, not here. Alright then. Please pass the message along. The king really needs to see her, and it is important for her to come as soon as possible. Oh, one. Thank you. Got it. Bye bye. What is wrong with you? If Nayana mm -hmm. Majuni, on him. Why the sudden dislike of the idea of going to the palace? When I tried to stop you to cut whatever connection you have with that family, I turned into your enemy. You even went as far as disobeying me and going there. And now, you're giving me excuses that I don't understand. Oh, really? Mama. Because don't mama me. If my Chuku, tell me what is going on. It's been over six months now that you've been in that in that giving me excuses of not going to the palace. Oh, why he be there? Oh, in that Tell me what is going on, Mama. What exactly are you afraid of? What's the if Raya, are you in any way trying to answer my question with question? Adingi! No, but um, from the way you act, Mama, it's obvious there's something you're hiding. And I have a feeling there's something you're hiding. Tell me what is troubling you. You were a Jujona Azama and Jujo. Or Nene? What is it? The king waits for you in the car. Is there anything in problem in school? Lecture, workload, lecturers or sexual harassment by lecturers or students? Nothing. 
Hmm. I know why I'm asking this question. Because I'm interested in what is happening around you. Nothing, I'm fine. Martin, have you kept a distance? Oh. Well, does it have anything to do with what happened between us? I hope you've not told anyone. Because if you do, I will know. Hmm? Your Majesty, I... It's okay. Come to the palace, let's talk. Okay? I... I... You want to refuse your king? No. I want to see you at the palace. Or... Oh, they want me to use that away? I know you won't like it. Your Majesty, I don't think that's a good idea. No, 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 no. It's not for you to decide what is a good idea. And what is not a good idea? Hmm? I'll be waiting for you at the palace. The driver will come to pick you up. And don't keep me waiting. Don't ever think of standing me up, okay? Then you can leave. The driver will come back to pick you. If I am. Mama. What is wrong? Mama, what could be going on other than me going to pay a visit to my sponsor? Sponsor? All of a sudden, he has become your sponsor again. Mama, he never stopped being my sponsor. Even though I didn't go to visit him for a month, he still did not stop paying my school fees and everything related to my school. Mama, it's nothing to bother about. Stop letting it bother you. You think you can lie to me and get away with it? I am not lying. Are you are now seeing me as a baby, Abby. I promise you. Very soon, I will find out what the problem is. You got to my cabinet. Mama, there is no problem. Stop letting your imagination put things in your head, okay? Take a chill pill. <laughs> Mama, I'll see you later. Let me start going. How on earth will I find out what she is hiding? It's obvious she is hiding something. You can't just keep quiet and do nothing about this. She is your daughter. Our daughter. How can you throw her away just because of one mistake? One mistake? One mistake you said? I would have believed you if I had not seen that girl in action. This is the fourth time, fourth time in less than three months that I'm getting reports about the girl's misbehavior, mischievousness. And you're telling me it's the first time. She has chosen her part, so let her leave it. Yes. I think that girl would die in there. <laughs> then later, later, at least that will get her head out of the gutters. And please, woman, oh let it be. You can't continue taking sides. No. Huh? At times, you make me think and think and think. Are you sure you know the cause of this? If you are trained that way, she wouldn't continue making wrong choices regarding men all the time. And you have been doing your job pretty well in that aspect, haven't you? You that can't even take away your eyes from girls of your daughter's age. Oh, that is it, then. Eh? Oh, you're here. Good afternoon, my king. Good afternoon, my queen. What are you doing here? Um. I invited her. If you don't have anything good to talk about, except talking about your sport and wild daughter, 
then this discussion is over. And please, I want you, don't ever think of calling up Sophia to go and build that girl from the jail. She will remain there until I think otherwise. You get me right? Certainly, my lord. Good. Join me for a walk. Yes, I know things have not been exactly great since the last time we met. But I'd be stupid to think, to think that you started avoiding me at the palace because of what happened. But you see, I cannot apologize because I'm the king and I can take any woman that I desire. Yes. Of course you can. Then why me? Why did you rape me? And you won't even apologize for it. But why would I apologize? For eating our fruit that I enjoyed and I know that I'll eat over and over and over again. Should I? Does it make sense? Excuse me? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but that will never ever happen again. Really? Really? Yes. Hmm. For months now, it has been in my head. What did I do to you to deserve this? Yes, I know I must have been extreme with my favor, but I only asked for what I really wanted. So why are you doing this? Well, I have thought about this long and hard enough and I've come to a conclusion. I will not do this again. I don't need your help anymore. My mother and I will sort out for my remaining days in school and once I get a job, I will make sure I pay you back. What do you think you're doing? Huh? What? What I would have done a long time ago. I would have listened to my mother and not come to the palace. But I believe I have paid for my disrespect enough and I will not do it again. But you know you cannot deny me. I am the king. Understand? I can and I have. And with all due respect, my king, I have to go to my house now. You cannot walk out on me. Excuse me. If on I am. I told you, I warned you strictly to keep her away. Kiro, why wouldn't you listen to me? Do you even know how I feel looking at her face each time she comes to the palace? 
Do you? Your Majesty, I don't know what else to do. I tried everything within my power to make her understand. But if Naya wouldn't listen... Anything. Do everything just like you did years ago. Because if he finds out the truth, I swear to what I hold most dear, your life and that of your daughter will be a living hell. I will not warn you again. the queen here and why is she threatening you you ask because you don't know really i know it is hard for you and it has not been easy you hearing people make side talks about your paternity but god knows i tried everything i could for you i tried my best to protect you to give keep you safe i gave you all i could but you brought us here if my you brought this on us hey Mama, what have I done? If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't be happening. Look at us. Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. What did I do? If I have a big I knew the next step I took was devastating where I couldn't be still and watch my mother being threatened and blamed for something I didn't do. So I did what I ought to have done long ago against better judgment, against all instincts and warnings. I wanted to make sure my mother was in good hands when the issue would escalate. So I went to see the Onowu and I told him everything. Thank you. Did I hear you right? That is ridiculous. I know the king has been wife from youth, but never has he had any woman without her explicit consent. What he did with me. And he did it as someone with years of experience. I was hopeless. And I still cannot get over the guilt of disobeying my mother. I will advise you, young woman. This is an outrageous accusation. In the ancient world, it will amount to treason to let such and the king. And that is why I have come to you, Onowu. I know this will be a blood fight, but I do not want my mother to be caught in it. She has suffered for me enough. I created this mess, and I want to fix it. So you are asking me to take this matter up with the Council of Elders? Do you realize that the same man you just accused of rape is the chief judge of all the customary cases in this land. So, Onobu, what do you want me to do? What should I do? Because I have tried to pretend as if this is not happening, but he still will not stop. What should I do? Young woman, I will advise you as you know what down. Drop this case and forget about it permanently. Else what? 
I could be killed? What is worse than what I am going through? What is worse than being constantly raped by a man I consider to be my father? Do you know how I am feeling? I have even lost concentration in my education. This thing is killing me slowly every day. And my mother has noticed it and she's worried sick about me. And that is what I do not want. Oh no, what more can the king do to me? Tell me what more. I am going to pretend I didn't hear this. In fact, you did not come to my house. But for the sake of that woman you love and cherish so much, bury these lies with you. With all due respect, Onobu, there are no lies. That man who is the king of Dankwa Kingdom had his way with me without my consent. He tore my clothes in the process and had his pallet guard get me the exact clothes he torn. I don't know how he was able to do that, but trust me, Onobu, I was raped. In my capacity as the Onobu of Dankwa, I declare your presentation as fabricated. Nonsense. What were you thinking? What the hell? I told you that the moment anybody gets to know what you did, that I will know. I thought I was joking. You thought I was joking, right? I told you. What would you do? What were you expecting? That you know such a grievous accusation against me? I will not react to it. I will not say something. Is that? Yes? You can only call it accusation if you haven't done what you're being accused of. But you are guilty of this sin. Sin? You call it sin? With a beautiful girl like you, Fanana? Out now. What you had was pure and devilish. Huh. I would never have done that, Your Majesty. Is this what you do to all the girls that look up to you as our king? You take advantage of us and ruin our lives. Oh, point of correction. I don't take advantage of any girl. All what we had was consensual and based on understanding. Do you understand? Apart from me, all I wanted was to go to school and be a normal girl like every other girl and be responsible for my mother. But you've ruined all this for me. No. We could go back to that, if only you would cooperate, do you understand, do you? I don't want any help from you. I don't want anything from you. All I want right now is justice for what you have done to me. And unfortunately, other girls that you've done the same to, I cannot stand up for their rights. Darling, do you want justice for all? And you think you're up to the challenge? Look, I'm the king of Dampa. And as far as I'm concerned, and as far as my people are concerned, I am a saint. So what will you tell them? You think they'll believe you against me? Oh no. Better think twice. You are not a saint. Hmm. You are a devil. Says the devil without home training. You think you can fight me? You cannot. How will you start? With the federal law or the customary law? No, you can't. My people believe me. And they know you can't fight me. Think twice. So what do you want to do with me? Kill me? Kill me because I have the guts to stand against your atrocities? <laughs> My dear Fernanda, one thing you should never do in life is to cajole a man. Because if you cajole a man like me, I will tie you up. 
I'll take you over and over and over and over again. I cannot stop. Even if you better not stop, I'll take you on. Something wrong with your head. You are a sick man. Oh. And a sick man like you cannot rule over normal people. Oh. <laughs> oh the king of Dankwa is sick. And I'll show you how a sick man behaves. I am the king. This is Dankwa. My kingdom. This is my slaughterhouse. I'm not born. Don't put the excuse of the cow here. So I agreed. <laughs> I am sick. I know the cow. So who will rescue you now? Tell me who will rescue you in my palace. Now, <laughs> hey! Shh. Shut up. Follow me. No. Nobody will rescue you. I told you this and I warned you. Go! No. Come here! I will no. you. Go! I remember I told you and I warned you of the consequences of trying to be smart with me. Next time it will be displeasurable. I'll make sure you bleed. And I warned you. No one, no one, not even the gods, can stop me from what I want to do. So don't ever dare me. You're stubborn. And I like stubborn people.
If now, what have you done? Chimo! Abomination! If now, what have you done? Calm down. Lay aside your anger. I talk to your king. What is the problem? Igwe, I greet you. May you live long. My elders, I greet you all. Igwe, this girl here is a murderer. She murdered her own mother in cold blood. Uh, what? She did what? Yes or no? She killed her mother. She is a murderer. This girl is a murderer. Yes. yes. Even a This is ridiculous. Use of Gangwa. This abomination! Mo My elders, we are telling you nothing but the truth. This girl here caught her red handed when she did that. And this is the mother we put on Igwe. Yes, Your Majesty. I had gone to buy something from her mother this morning only to walk into the ugly scene. Hmm. Igwe, this girl here stabbed her mother mercilessly everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. Yes. Even a man, huh? I'm back. Look at me. Ah, you forget about the Ibrahim Azam. Abomination. Something like this had never happened in Dakwa Kingdom before. Yes. Never. How could you, if Nanya? How could you stab your only mother? Who? But. Why would she do something like this? I mean, isn't it good to find out what happened before judging her so harshly? Is she a young Actually, yeah. this girl here is heartless and brutal. Yeah. Yeah. She killed her mother. Uh, uh, well, your majesty. This girl here has thousands and millions of reasons to do such a thing. We all know her paternity status in this kingdom. Oh. So she, 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 she can do such a thing. Yes. And that's the reason our parents told us not to associate with her. Not at all. Not at all. Not Besides, um, story have it that uh, she has been disturbing her mother. So she might have killed the woman in quest of, of to know who her father is. So she did it. Yes. 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 Nanya, how could you do this to your own mother? Huh? My king. People like this should not be allowed to live amongst normal people. At all. If she could do this to her own mother, a woman who carried her in the womb for nine months, loved and cared for her, what more could she do oh. to people who are not related to her in any way? You can do anything. I, uh, my my majesty. king, I implore you to be wise in your decision for the good and well-being of your people. This girl is evil. Yes, she is. Hmm. Yes, Mr. Dankwa, I thank you all for coming. I appreciate you. Um, you try me up. That's right. We cannot take any hasty decision without first finding out what happened and how it happened, why it happened. If she did commit this crime, did she commit it? Yes! I saw her! 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 I saw Then her reason for doing so is paramount. Uh, 
In that case, I will interrogate her myself. And whatever judgment given is final. This sort of act has never taken place in that no, kingdom before. Not in right now. So I advise you tread with caution, with wisdom, in dealing with this matter. But I appreciate you all. She was speechlessly overwhelmed. I couldn't say what to me. So I'm beginning to feel she did not do it. So who did? That is the problem. Maybe she has some enemies who can know. Why are you doing this? You are the king. So? The Igwe. Uh -huh. You should be decisive. Why are you trying to be lenient to a girl who murdered her own mother? Why? No, 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 no. I'm not being lenient. I allow the Lord to take his full course, but I'm worried, that's all. Do not make me remember your illicit affair with that maiden that came to work in the palace years ago. You insulted me. I let it go. I forgot about it. Do not make me remember. Um. What concerns the maiden with this discussion? I'm tired. And I need to rest. Please, if you can, excuse me. And just like that, I was condemned to the most brutal punishment ever in the history of Damkwa. Finally, I was banished from the land. They made me sit on the waste of processed palm oil and paraded me round the whole kingdom. I cried. I wailed. But not for myself, but for my poor mother who was murdered to cover the iniquities of one man. I don't know how long I sat in that thinking water. But I sure know I smell like a dead rat. You know what? The police vehicle came and took me away like that. I was put in prison. And because I wasn't saying anything or pleading for mercy, I was sentenced to death by hanging. But what do I care? The only reason I was living for had already died. So life was meaningless to me. But you know what? You know the funny part? Even though I had given up on life, life hasn't given up on me. They sent me a savior. My savior. That lonely night in prison, I was hopeless. I felt like my life was coming to an end. But she came and made me feel freedom again. And that was when I swore that I would make sure I avenged the death of my mother. That night, Ifunaya died and Sandra was born. Now, do you all know why I am doing what I am doing? 
the blood of my mother seeks for vengeance. And I will not rest until I unleash my vengeance on each and every one of you that has a hand in my mother's death. But I told them not to be hasty with the judgment. You remember that? How can you. Shut up! Do you want me to start with you? Do you want to be the first to join your king? Then shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe that uh, such abomination happened right in this kingdom, right in this palace. Yet no one, not even the queen, was not aware of it. Oh, she was aware. Right, your majesty? But she was busy covering up the atrocities she entangled with the king. Your majesty? You're demented, you know that, right? Wait, how in the world did she even get us to sit here and listen to all this Balderdash? How? Oh, how? At one point. Really? Balderdash? Really? Fine. Why don't you tell your daughters who the father of the second daughter is? Enough! Enough! What is it? You walked into this compound to insult my father? His memories? Now you want to taint my mother's name? How dare you sit down! I say sit! Do not let me repeat myself. You walked into this compound to insult my father? His memories? Now you want to taint my mother's name? How dare you sit down? I say sit! Do not let me repeat myself. Should I? Sophia, sit your ass down. Mother, what do you have to say? I mean, what the hell is she talking about? What I mean is that your mother, the ever-loving, prestigious queen of Dankwa Kingdom has been sleeping with the unknown. <laughs> and you, Princess Claire, you are the product of one of their atrocities. <laughs> no. I am so... <laughs> You all know that um, it's not in my nature to laugh, but I can't help it. <laughs> what do you intend to achieve from all of this? Taint my parents' name, mm -hmm. and then you automatically become the victim and the hero? What's all this? Do you, or does this look like a fairy tale to you? Okay, that's it. I give you the count of three to talk. What? I will talk. No? I will talk. I will talk. I will talk. Shut up! I will talk! Now start talking. I have been seeing you know for a very long time now. No, no, mother. What, mom? Does that mean that everything this girl just said is the truth? That I am not the king's daughter? Oh no! No, you're the king's. No, what I mean is, your nose, daughter. Hey, 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 hey. You were not meant to be. But, uh, what could I do? I was already pregnant. I was desperate to give the king a son. You were 
kicking like a boy. I thought you were going to be a boy. Oh, mother. You are a hammer boy. Stop, Sophia. Didn't you hear what she just said? This woman has been cheating and lying to dad all these years. Oh. And he has been cheating on me too. Emotionally, physically, psychologically. Cheating on me with girls younger than you. How do you think I managed to survive my married life with such a man? How? Oh no, who was always there. Yes. He was the reason I learned to live again. Uh, Mom. Mom. Yes. I did it. Yeah. I did it. Oh my God, I did it. Unlike your late father who hide under the cloak of being a good and an amazing man. Sleeping with daughters young enough to be his daughters. And you know what? I made sure all the bastards that could have come from those flames never made it to life. Except you. Excuse me? Me? Yes. How? Why do you think I always come to see your mother then? Surely it wasn't a kindness or courtesy visit. But to remind her of the promise she made. A promise she made to take to the grave that you are the bastard child of the king. Oh, yes! Hey! Are you trying to be a man? Are you trying to get me angry more than the way I already feel? Hmm. Really? Oh. Truth hurts. Doesn't it? I know. I know. Exactly how I felt when a 14 year old girl who came to the palace for help, who the king employed as a maid, was pregnant with my husband's child. The king had been doing that with many maidens, but none of them got pregnant. Your mother got pregnant. Abortion would have been the best option. That way, I won't have to set my eyes on her again. But I was warned in my dream not to abort a royal blood. I can only pray for the gods to do it themselves. It was so painful, so devastating. I had to punish her. Punish her for knowing her sins and yet doing it. That was my greatest revenge so far. Let me guess. Having the child so close to the father, yet no access to the father. The king never knew the reason Kiri left the palace. Why didn't you bother asking your mother why she was uncomfortable with you being in the palace? Why? You were lying. She is lying. That man who raped me cannot be my father. Unfortunately, he was. Your mother did so well in keeping to her promise until you stubbornly barged into our lives again. You and your daughter shall have some nerves. I told you. 
I warned you strictly to keep her away. You took an oath that they will never cross paths. Yes, I did, Your Majesty. And I've kept to it all this year. She doesn't know he's her father. Do not try my patience, you miserable, frustrated idiot of a woman. What do you think? That bringing her close to the king will fill the void that has been in her life all these years? Is that what you think? The king doesn't know she exists. I know, Your Majesty. And I don't intend to. She's my daughter. And the bastard child of the king that must remain secret as long as you and I live. Look, woman. I may not be pure with a lot of sins that I commit. But I wouldn't want to have anybody's blood on my hands. Do not force me. Your Majesty, I don't know what else to do. I have tried all I could. Just that my daughter is stubborn. If Naya is very well, stubborn. Her stubbornness might as well be her death. I will not have her in the palace ever. Take this as a kind warning. Because when I strike, I make sure I leave nothing in the way. I will not warn you again. I'm gradually losing a home I suffered to put together for years. How can he be so less concerned about his own daughter? But if he's withdraw that girl. Oh, no. please. What can I do? What do I do? Take it easy. Sit down. Hmm? And I know how you feel. You are, you, you are being unnecessarily worried over nothing. I'm sure he wouldn't be stupid enough to do something like that. Says a man who knows his nature. You know my husband very well. And I'm telling you he wouldn't do that. He has changed. He's no longer that kind of man. He's obsessed with her. I know my husband very well. I know when he lays his trap to catch a fish. Then let him do what he wants to do. It's not as if it is the first time he's doing this. As long as it doesn't backfire. What is there to be worried about? I should be worried. No. He wouldn't do it. I'm just being too paranoid. Stop worrying yourself, okay? I'm worried. Please, please, calm down. Hmm? You'll be fine. Are you sure? You'll be fine. It's fine. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? You silly idiot of a woman. Are you insane? Is something wrong with you? Your Majesty. Shut up! I am not. If you have a death wish, why don't you go to your house, lie in your bed, slice your wrist, and bleed to death? Your Majesty, I am not here to banter words with you. I just want us to talk. I have nothing to talk to you about, you loose woman. Just get out of my way! Your Majesty, you don't have to call me loose. Really? Yes, because you are guilty of a greater sin, adultery. And with your husband's best friend for that matter. What are you talking about? <laughs> don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. It makes me look more stupid. You haven't really changed much of your schedule since the last time I was in the palace. <laughs> you should know a lot of eyes are watching. Pain of doubt, 
sleeping around in damp. No prayer God. I don't know what you're talking about. Your Majesty, I agree what I had with the king it was illegitimate, but you know, it happened when I was a little child. What you're doing with Dono is sick. And what do you think the people and the king will say when they find out your sick ways? Why are you doing this? To strike a bargain. Honestly, I don't care however you wish to live your life. All I want is to tell the truth about Ifananya. I want to tell the king the truth about my daughter. And you have to affirm to my place because you're the only one that knows. You will do no such thing. You swore an oath to take this to your grave. Have you forgotten? Yes, I did. But you and I know the kind of man the king is. I can't keep hiding the truth from him. Before he does something very terrible to my daughter. And we all come out to start regretting it. Please. And if I don't? I am sure a lot of people will be wondering what you are doing in this part of the kingdom. Don't force me to say the truth with my mouth. Even as you're standing here, you know his field is in you because you people just made out. Are you blackmailing me? You can call it whatever you wish. You have to arrange time and date. Then I'll come with Ifunanya. All I want is for the king to know that Ifunanya is his own. Your Majesty, do not tempt a woman that is willing to do anything at her age to protect her own child, her only child. Consider my situation. This woman has finally revealed her true self. <laughs> Don't tell me nothing is bothering you. It's quite unlike you to go home and come back on the day. Something I thought I had undercover has been brought to open. And what is it? I'm all alone here. I don't have visitors. Oh no. We have been made and about to be rattled. How do you mean? Our affair. How? We have been very discreet about it. No one knows about us. My family comes back only at Christmas and we do not come together during that period. It is beyond your family. Someone else does. Apparently the person knows about our affair and decided to keep calm, waiting for a very good opportunity to now blackmail me. And who could be this person? Nkiru. Nkiru. Nkiru that once served in the palace as a medic. What does she have against you? She has a child for the king. Your guess was correct. Now she wants to introduce the child to the palace. No, I will not allow another woman into the palace. I will not allow that. Much less a one-time maiden. I won't. So what do you want us to do? We cannot fold our arms and let her loose. More reason I came back. Something is about to happen. Know that I did it. Use your good offices as you know to suppress everything that needs to be suppressed. Your Majesty. Nkiru. Your, your Majesty, what are you doing here? Why do you look so scared? I am here for business. Business? How do you mean? I brought a good business deal. Come. Come your Majesty. <laughs> business one. Yes. You know, Nkiru. 
I have decided to allow you to do what you want to do. Eh? Yes. Boy Queen! Hi! <laughs> thank you, my God. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Yes. Thank you uh, but on one condition. What condition? Tell me I will do anything. <laughs> You're going to tell him. In hell. In her? Yes, in hell. My queen, you assured me you will not soil your hands in blood. Why did you do it finally? She already threatened me. She has become too bold. If she is left alive, she will run her mouth. And you and I will be in what soup? Was that a risk you're willing to take? No. No. Not kill him, my queen. Why would you stand your hands in something like this? Because of my honor and pride. And yes, including my head, are more important than few stains of blood dropped for such a good. We should clean you up from this mess. It can't be traced back to you. I already made sure of that. All you need to do is make her take the fall. Who? Her useless daughter. Convince the king that she committed the crime and she'll be punished severely. Is that too much to ask? This is absolute mother of justice. You two planned all of this. You made the innocent girl fall for your crimes. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You feel me wagon. Sincerely, I am very disappointed. Very disappointed in the woman we call the mother of the kingdom. No, 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 no. <laughs> you and the king, you have tainted whatever that is remaining on the traditional image and relevance of this kingdom. Let me say it again. I am very disappointed. Mom, tell me you are joking. Please, tell me this is not true, please. I am sorry. I am sorry, my daughter. I only did it for our safety and happiness. Safety? Mother happiness? Here I am thinking we are the victims. Mother, here I am thinking what did we do to get it all wrong? You and father are the worst beings that could ever exist. How could you? Mother, how could you and Dad? Cindy died just because of your crimes, Mother. <laughs> you killed my mother. You murdered her in cold blood. <laughs> your husband raped a 14-year-old child? And you still have the mind to kill her because she wants to tell her innocent daughter the truth? Go ahead and shoot me. If you had listened to her, all this wouldn't have happened. And if you had allowed her to tell me the truth, maybe I wouldn't have been raped by my own father. You see, the owner who told me you murdered my mother, but I thought he was joking. But hearing this from you now, you are so devilish. Oh no, who told you that? He did? Oh no. How could you? How could you give me up on a slightest opportunity? When I always have your secrets covered up 
My queen, please, please, spare me of this. Please, uh, please do not stop this woman. Mm -hmm. What secret is she talking about? Does any of you here know how the king was murdered? The king was not murdered. He died of a chronic illness. Oh. Uh -uh. The king was killed. Uh -huh. Oh no, we hear sort of. I don't know what you are talking about. Okay. Please, mm -hmm. eh? In as much as I have not always been agreeing with you, no. But I will tell you this time around that even the Kwabra is your kum. There is no way no one can do anything like that. Exactly. Why would I want to hurt and kill my old friend? Is it done? Oh no. Oh no, if you could sleep with the wife, right? Under his nose, oh no, I am pretty sure you could do it! Start talking now! Yes. Mommy, he could raise you. This man here is a green snake in a green grass. Hmm. Hey! Because it was his turn to be the king, as agreed between him, the king, and Abalaka. But the king had a change of heart few years ago and decided to give the reins of the kingdom to the surviving brother of the real owners of that seat. Lolly, <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? What do you mean by the real owners of the seat? That was my brother. My brother was named Igwe two days before his death. And what does that have to do with the law and the the king. Oh no! Answer me now! Talk to me! Prince, are you okay? Are you saying is something wrong with you? How could you suggest something like that to me? How dare you? Believe me, Queen, if you will hear me out, it's for a greater cause. Greater cause? Yes. You are asking me to kill my husband, the father of my children, the king of this land, and you're telling me about a greater cause. What is wrong with you? I'm asking you to set us free. Set yourself free. Hmm? My queen, my love, Ojugana Waleze, for how long? Do you think we can do this? To hide away like this? Listen, our daughter has grown into a full-fledged woman. And it will not give me joy eh, eh, to watch your so-called husband hang over in marriage. He is her father. No, I am. You know that. Only he doesn't know. Where'd you go? You can do this for us. Once he is out of the way, I will marry you and give you the love and attention you deserve. Please, you go. This is for us. Hmm? Um, what do I need to do? One a day, and in six months' time, we won't have any issues. What will they do? Slow that. One that cannot be traced to us. It will damage few organs in his body. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? Are 
是不会焦虑吗？也是不会焦虑。You are both despicable. You are disgusting. How, how did you exist as humans? You are supposed to be in the zoo because you are animals, mother. You pretended like you didn't know about the illness. Hi. Like it's your first time of hearing it, mother. Mother, how could you? How? Jesus. If anyone had told me, I will never believe that something like this is happening. Oh no. Oh no. So, you, Igwe, or King, and the Queen, you, Queen, are the canker worms that have been bedeviling the entire Dankwa Kingdom. I can't believe my eyes. And here we are, spending the kingdom's revenue and resources, trying to find what the solution to the problem is. Little did we know that they are the calamities. Hey! Oh no, it's a good Oh no, move along. It's a good one. Oh no. You're going to meet me. Hey! 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 You see this gun you have been sampling with your your people. The time for you to use it has come. And I'm uh, I'm Hey, hey, asking myself the same question. How come we didn't know our parents at all? How can our parents be evil and devilish yet so calm and loving that we were completely oblivious of who they are and what they are? And to think we were fighting for their rights. 
Yeah. I know. It's all so pathetic. <sighs> Can we live here once all this is done? The memories here are so scary that you know it hurts to know everything I know that we are not of the same point. Cluster. Listen, I do not care what those two said. All I know, you are my sister. Yes, Claire, I am not giving up on you. I would not. Okay. So, what of Ifunaya? She is also your sister. What happens to her? Hmm. Hmm. Nanya. I, I am so scared. So scared. She has deeply compromised herself into cultism in the in the quest to dominate. I don't know. But she's my sister. She is our sister. We need to make her one. I know she's not one now, but it's our duty to make her one. Okay? So, yeah. Stop. I'm sorry, I'm I can feel the state of your heart. Don't do it. Your soul is ours and the future is yours. What's the point? I was raped by my own father. I am already dead. What future am I claiming when I pass things? You made a vow never to go back. Do not feel you can go back. Because it is going to backfire big time. Do you really think I will still continue after the revelation? Lizzie, I now have a root. I now have a name. I now have a family that I never had. Why are you think I will continue living like a robot when my humanity has been restored? Remember how we met and the circumstances that led to it. Where was humanity then? Now listen, let me tell you. You are connected to forces mightier than nature. That means you are no longer a natural human being. Are you going to betray me now? Bastard king of a bastard kingdom. You have killed the very zeal in my life and I am going to make you bleed. I know what you are thinking. What? Revenge. 
You want to revenge the gruesome mother of your mother. Who are you and how did you know that? I am here to help you. My name is Lizzie. I am human, but not just human. The wickedness of the world has forced me into doing other things. Let's say I have become wild. If you must avenge the death of your mother, then you must be ready to become wild too. So, if you're so wild like you claim, why are you still in this prison? <laughs> I am not in prison. I actually came for you. If you agree to partner with me, we leave tonight. Listen, your files would disappear from all offices of government and no one will be able to trace you. You will have a new life with a new identity and your life would take new shape. <laughs> I am still confused. How do you intend to do that? I mean, how do you intend to leave this prison? We talk when you wake up in the morning. Have you not slept enough? It's you. Where is this place? How did you bring me here? Your room is over there. Going. Freshen up and be ready for breakfast. We have a lot to talk about. Is she a human being? How did I get to this place? You are lucky he came to your rescue by sending you to prison. Had it been he had gone traditional by getting the gods involved in banishing you. Divine the spirit. A person who is banished by the gods does not make progress wherever he or she goes. In our order, we try as much as possible to stay away from the gods. Uh, I have lost count of the thousands of times you've made mention of order. Please, what order are you talking about? The order of the new dawn. The apocalypse of the intimidating spirits. They like you, so they sent me to rescue you. You will become rich and famous but you will serve them for the rest of your life. I hope this is not some kind of secret cult because I don't want to belong to any cult. I see you as a woman of power. 
women of power are only interested in one thing the beauty of tomorrow key into that and you'll forever be happy Where is this place? The people who saved you yesterday can still save me tomorrow. Do you agree? Yes, yes, I agree. But that does not answer my question. Where are we? This is the temple of the new dawn. The priest of this temple made it possible for you to be set free from prison. Soon, you shall come face to face with him and then your journey into the blissful face of life will begin. But I thought you said this is not a secret cult. Your words and the aura that greeted our entry points to the fact that this is a weird place. A woman who is looking for her missing items such as both where she kept them and where she never kept them. Some things we need in life are hidden beyond the human eyes. It is secret, but will be made open today. She has vowed to be faithful to this great order. Not only will you have enough money you never imagined, but you will have the power to become invisible and roar like a lion. <laughs> I just want to advent the gruesome mother of my mother. She was raped when she was only 13 and she became pregnant. She never experienced life at all. And the moment she decided to speak for her rights to the truth. We already saw the zeal burning in you. And that was why we sent Lizzie to rescue you from the gallows of death. You have already bribed someone to keep you in the prison. Oh, yes. But since you've been rescued, he will go back and tell them that you have died. And they will move on with their life. Eventually, when you return with your revenge, it will be a mystery to them. Yes. They will do everything possible to silence you, yes. but they will not succeed. I am ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that you will? All this I have just said will happen under one condition. That you will vow never to leave us. Dip your hand inside this water and vow with your soul that the day you will leave us will be the day you will lose everything and eventually you will die. As long as this order helps me get the revenge I seek, I vow never to leave. <laughs> Sandra. You made a vow never to leave the order if they assist you in achieving vengeance. That's exactly what the order did. All the people who planned your mother's death are dead. Why then are you shooting yourself in the leg, believing you can leave? 
First of all, let me start by renouncing that name, Sandra. My name is Ifunaya Chuku, meaning love of God. And I believe that my God will see me through this. What exactly are you talking about? Do you want to lose everything? I don't have to wait until I lose everything because I have already surrendered everything. I am going back to my family because family is everything. If I die, I die in my family. How do I make her understand she's heading for doom? Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Okonozo, the messenger warrior of Dangwa Kingdom. And what's my business with you? I came to warn you. She has a role to play in the Majin Dangwa Kingdom. Do not make her your work or I will make you my work. Oh, I see. So she had planned with the demons of her land to undermine the express order of the priest of the new dawn. All right, we shall see. So, his name is Indubis. The son of the man your father murdered to become king. We are here because uh, by the verdict of the gods, it has been confirmed. He is the one who will emerge the next king of Nampo Kingdom. In the BC, my princess. Congratulations. Thank you. And on behalf of my family, I just want to say we are sorry for the gruesome mother of your father. And we are here to give you all the support that you need for your reign. Thank you, my princess. This assurance is a heartwarming one, and it's one I'm not going to forget in a hurry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, well, Princess Sophia. Yes. Something else brought us here. The messenger warrior of the gods and the ancestors of Dankwa Kingdom actually went to him. And they told him that only one thing will guarantee a peaceful reign for him. And that is, he must be married to the princess. I brought him here today to make an unusual request because I need no soothsayer to tell me that um, you are the one. Uh, Claire here, based on what we now know, is not a princess. Ishe, please. Claire is my sister and she's a princess. Uh, well, I have no problem with whoever you may have decided to adopt as a sister. But I, I know that you are the princess. I want to ask you, Sophia, is there anything that will prevent you from becoming the wife of the new king of Dankwa Kingdom and the reign as the queen of Dankwa with him? That is, you continue being the queen from where your mother left off. I have come home. 
I have come home empty handed because family is everything. We all erred in the build up to what happened. But we all erred in ignorance. Please forgive me. Forgive me because I have forgiven you all. Please. Let's move on like one family. Because peace is supreme. Please. We all erred in ignorance. Before I go on, I want to say a comment, Alice. We all erred in ignorance. And we can all build as one family. Get the staff from. I lost this staff in my father's room. I am with the keys. Where did you get it from? What you locked up in your father's room is only a resemblance of this staff of kings of Dangwa. Your father created that with some of his fellow mischief makers. What I have here is the real staff of the kings. And I've come to give seven to him for it will be useful. Right here. You are the real custodian of this staff. The ancestors will take it when you break your last. If there is anything you can do to bring her back, do it, for she has left us. She told me she has left and I know she means it. Well, you know very well that she cannot leave us and still be alive. And for daring to turn her back on this great order, I hereby send the wind of death <laughs> you shall live to the great. If you bring back my mother, you see, Kalaka is broken. The Yakuza will be again. I'm a woman of You are the one. The presence of Dankwa. You are the one that will reign with me as the queen. Me? Yes. Abura Sophia. See how the gods and our ancestors have planned everything for us. Just say yes to me. And let's see how the future of our kingdom is secured. Yes. Hey, <laughs> 
Solid.